So, yeah, uh, continuing RimWorld. Uh, I don't know what the hell happened, ha happened there. I just unplugged and replugged the microphone uh, um, USB-C cable, and it was fine. Uh, you know, turn it off, turn it back on kind of situation. Um, was supposed to be playing RimWorld yesterday, but uh, for lost track of what day it was, and uh, and ended up accidentally playing a little EU4 for approximately five plus hours. You know, shit happens. But anyway, um, playing a little RimWorld today, doing our Roman-themed colony here. Uh, we're doing all right. Got a good-sized colony. What do we got? 11 people? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 people. Uh, we have started digging out our main tunnels to uh, have some room to work with here. 10 hours of RimWorld today. Yup. Starting, starting now, I will be ending uh, past midnight. Uh, not really. Um, we have had an interesting flow of technology. Uh, we have access to electricity, but we are very primitive in a lot of other things. So it's kind of interesting. So all of our electricity right now comes from the geothermal. Um, we do have electric heaters in uh, the base right now, and we have start and a lot of electric lights, and we've started um, queuing out this cavern here to make permanent rooms in. And uh, yeah, uh, Austrian is a little fucked up. Got a, got a little eaten by a, by a bug and it looks like we need to take care of that. So who's my doctor? I don't remember. That's Curd. Curd, can you come over here and tend please? No, is anybody sick? No, you're fine. Medicine, uh, low. Low on med, ooh, yes, low on meds. Are these, are these harvestable? Actually, yeah. Um, <laughs> Those are harvestable. I'm gonna have uh, some of my people, <clears throat> excuse me, go outside and get those. No storage space for, oh, this is where we, we got chewed up. Um, I busted open the little thingy here. I was like, where are the bugs? But yeah, no, 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 we're, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, no room. I think what would be good would be to huck a lot of this stuff elsewhere to make room or hew out a little bit of this cavern to make room. Like, all this steel doesn't need to be in there. I don't think we have access to better storage yet. No, we do not. Uh, I guess just throwing this steel outside. Here, let's do this. Let's, let, let's mine out a little bit more room here for more storage. We have some good miners, so they'll get through all of these tasks pretty quickly. Uh, Jidge and Daddy, do you have pickaxes? You do, excellent. Beautiful. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. Everybody appropriately equipped. I think this is going to be one of those. Col I, I usually have um, uh, two problems with colonies: not enough blocks or way too many blocks. Whatever. We'll figure out beds today. We shall see. What are we working on right now? Centurion armor. Okay, we're working on some some badass armor for my people, but that's about it. Oh, and I forgot we got a um, we got a pet bear friend. I completely forgot about that. I I completely forgot we had a pet bear. All right, you're you're okay. You just got an infected leg and you got chewed on a little bit. Other than that, you're fine. Is he trained? Fully trained. Attack bear. That is that is delightful. Uh, bonded to Austrian. Are you um? Uh, animal to Austrian? Yes. Okay, so Master is drafted. I was doing field work, hunting, or taming animals. Yes. There we go. Cool. There we are. Just looking over my weapons. I forgot that ammunition. Uh, I forgot we're playing with um, Yeo's combat. So I forgot ammunition was a thing. I was like, why are all these weapons laying around? It's like, right, we don't know how to make bullets. So we're well. I mean, we do one. We 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 can use muskets. We can use muskets. Austri no, Austria is not going to die from an infection. We have meds, and we have some industrial meds too, and we even have some glitter tech meds from a, a quest. So I I mean, like, if it got really nasty, is the bear named the bear is named Lord, and that is after someone from chat. If it got really nasty, we would just up the um. Uh. The, 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 the meds from herbal to industrial. And then if I got really bad from industrial to glitter. Go, uh, we're going to, we're trying to make a Roman themed colony. 
is what it was because the um vanilla expanded team came out with vanilla expanded uh what is it called vanilla expanded classical i think it was called which added on a bunch of like greco roman style things so we're trying to make this colony roman themed so right now the only thing we have that's kind of roman themed as of yet is the fact that we have uh three leaders uh in, in a republic we are we, we we are a republic We'll we'll make it more Romany as we go there. We'll we'll make it more Romany. Don't you worry. All right, start expanding this zone out as we get more room to work. Yeah, look how fast these guys are in the light. Okay, so they can throw the extra blocks we have out there. Beautiful, beautiful. Fucking manhunter pack of bl blind salamanders. Oh, okay. Um, this is this can't possibly be that big of a deal. Did you send the recommend juice? Yes. Uh, let's see here. Austrian, I know you have a bit of a. Are we splitting up dogs? Well, they're gonna whine no matter what side of the door you're, they're on. You gonna hang out with Pops? You gonna hang out right here? Hi, Penny. This is my chair. You can't have it. This is my chair. You can't have a chair. You gonna hang out in here? You gonna hang out with Daddy? With your Daddy? What do we do now? What you got? You just got me. You just got me to hang out with. What you doing? You be a good girl. There's a Penny down here. Oh, big yawn. Big, big yawn. Oh, Squirtchubs. Oh, ear Squirtchubs. Oh, ear Squirtchubs. Yes, the best. Oh, you, no, did my chair. You can't have it. She's pawing at my chair. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have blind salamanders to fight. You are such a big dog. He's a big butt over here to pat. You get to pat the bottom. You get to pat the bottom. And squitch the bottom, too. Butt Squirtchubs. Where's the butt Squirtchubs? Panudu gave last night. I think you might uh, enjoy Thea 2 The Shattering. Sounds like the name of a late 80s, like, B movie. I'm looking it up on Steam right now. This is weird. What is what is this? There's an asterisk. It's got so it's got actually it looks kind of interesting, but it's got an asterisk murder, next murder, to murder. its reviews, which I've never murder, seen murder, before. Murder. This product has experienced one or more periods of off-topic re review activity. Based on your preferences, the reviews within these periods have been excluded from the product's raw score. So does that is that saying it got review bombed? Oh, that's that's sketchy as fuck. So so there there is a there is a a asterisk period of like of of like these reviews are sus, and they're all positive reviews saying how great the devs are. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna have to look into that a little more later. But do I have a better melee weapon I can hand off to Austrian? Uh, I should make one. Well, that's a breaching axe. That's not exactly great in melee. Okay, so this needs to be held open because we got some blind salamanders to fight. Uh, and then everybody else, Sans Austrian, needs to come over here. All right, Magnus, get your gun, buns out, guns out, Bakken, Jinxie. Let's see. Um, do you have a good melee skill? I don't remember who has good melee skills and who doesn't. Oh, you do, Daddy. There we go. 
Get, get some people in, in position here. Oh no, Kurds outside. My doctor, of course my doctor was near them when they spawned. <laughs> and is shivering. Uh, uh, run! <laughs> run, Doc! Run! Do any of these guys have uh, ranged weapons on them? None of them do yet. Kurd, you've got a ranged weapon if you want to hang out right about there. Okay, all right. These are blind salamanders. How much damage could they possibly do? All right, they're, they're one hit. As long as I don't get hit in the eyeball. They're one hit kills. Yeah, no, it's not. A, these aren't. These aren't. These aren't an issue. Nope. Uh, I mean, uh, that that was pre-existing head. Yeah, no, not too bad. All right. Go lay down, curd. Go deal with those. Yep. Take care of them already. Axolot. No, 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 no. They're 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 like cave. They're they're cave salamanders. So they're not axolot. That would that would be cool. I, I would love it if alpha animals added in some sort of like extra large man eating axolotl. That'd be sweet. Get rid of those. Close that door. Take care of the wounds. Ooh, how are we doing on the tree, by the way? 19 of 20. So we are actually going to be able to get to level up sometime soon. All right, huck the huck the dead salamanders uh, out of the way. So we can at least get the door shut. We got the bees. Well, I would imagine that the bees wouldn't do well in this kind of temperature, but apparently these like super bees are good to minus 25. Thank you, Lord. What would you recommend for a new start? Uh, any of the big boys. Um, big nations are more forgiving. You're less likely to get completely fucked up uh, by a mistake if you play a bigger nation. So, England, Castile, Portugal, Austria, Poland, Ottomans, France. That kind of stuff. It's just more forgiving. Richie's having a little bit of a mental break, but that's okay. And Blood Ring, thanks for the redoodly there, six months. So, like, uh, Ottomans are the most, um... Is Brandenburg going to start to get into it again? If, if you have pre-existing knowledge of the game, then yes. If you're brand new, then no. I would not suggest Brandenburg. I would not suggest a, 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 a even a medium-sized nation in HRE if you are not familiar with the game already. Um... But, like, uh, Portugal's really, really good because it's kind of a, a, a low-threat environment and they and you can kind of learn colonial game. Spain is good, is, or Castile is kind of good all around. France is kind of... Well, Fr France is a bit more of a mess now than it used to be because they kind of broke it up into smaller duchies that are, like, that can be integrated into France, but it's still powerful. England is an easy start. You can do a lot of things with there. You can learn the naval game. You can learn the colonial game. Um... Poland is a little bit harder, but you can learn, but, but it's in a good position, very strong early position because you could get the, uh, the union over Lithuania. Austria is a good start so that you could learn like the diplomatic game. Ottomans are just good all around because they're strong. Also, we got a bulk goods trader coming in, which we're probably going to have to run down because it's cold out. All right. Best warden is Richie. Where's Richie? Here you go. Otherwise, they're going to turn around. Richie, where are you going? Dude, 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 you're going the long way around. Oh, they got devil sheep. I love devil sheep. Uh, oof. Devil sheep are great if you can keep a large coin. You need a lot of them for it to be useful. All right. Um, What do we got in here? We got a little bit of cash. Battle banner, backpacks, standards, quivers. Uh, a hyperweave burka, parka. 
They do have some meds. I will take the meds they have. Tyrion, is that, that's the purple cloth. Yeah, that, I'm about to say, that's purple from, um, from Roman times. Yeah, so you can, there's actually a separate, a very expensive separate cloth for, like, royal, the royal, I wonder what the stats are like. Beauty 550, very high beauty. There we go. Try for the sheep. I'm not in a position right now where I could keep the sheep alive through the winter. They would, they would, like, insta-die. Nah, there's nothing much in here for me. I could sell some textiles just to get made just to get some cash. Sell the blue fur. Well, we'll go for the we'll, we'll keep the blue fur for now cuz it's a little better, but we'll start selling off the plain leather. 850. Boom. There we go. Take their cash, take their meds. Haul it in. Beautiful. Uh, let's tell them they could also put the steel out here. Steel. That way it'll move it out of my main area a little bit. I mean, so far the thing we've done that is the most Romany is is get some opium to just 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 to get a little taste, just a little taste of the opium. Just a little test taste. All right, let's get all this hauled out. Please and thank you. All right, we've got we've we've got room to work now. That's beautiful. We can start carving out some rooms. So, what 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 room do we want to start with? We could start with a proper barracks. Rec room, rec room is good because everybody gets access to a rec room. I don't think I've, I've been doing a lot of circular rooms for a long time now, uh, and and they they are they they are fun, but they make the base less efficient. And um, I'll probably do maybe like a, maybe a circular room for like a, a special room, like 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 like, like a gladiatorial pit or something like that. But I think we'll we'll stick. We'll, we'll, we'll go back to good old-fashioned square rooms. So let's see. I, I believe I left 11. Yeah, 11. 11. 11 by... We'll do an 11 by 11 here. That'll be that'll be good. And then leave doorways in. 11 by 11 is safe. I, I believe the limit is 13 before you need support. So I think 11 by 11 is safe. Slept in the cold. Did you? Eh, it's a little chilly, you... You bitch. Uh, well, let's put another heater in, I guess. It's a little chilly. It's it's eight degrees C in there. Hexagonal. Well, the thing for for it to be hexagonal and not just look like a like a circle because we are working with square very very well, like good sized square chunks. Uh, to make it look hexagonal, it would have to be very large. Very, very large. Improper, you know, improperly large. The Awesome Coyotes. Seven mercenary gunners we placed under my control because there are 33 man hunting coyotes coming. Actually. That's, that's doable. Coyotes ain't that bad. Um... Both of these rewards are are tasty. Orbital bombardment targeter is always good in, in, in an emergency in case the world explodes. Uh, and stone skin gland, I believe that's the one that makes you ugly. But it gives you blunt heat and sharp protection. Yeah, it makes you super ugly. But it's all. But it's great to have on on the person that is holding the door shut for you. I think I will go with the stone skin gland. All right, pods arrived. They got some interesting. Oh, they got an interesting array of weapons. Oh, and we need a research project. IEDs, industrial generator, or wood-fired crematorium. 
Well, these are no use to me right now. I guess I'm going to take wood fire uh, crematoriums. I don't need the industrial generators right now. I've got a geothermal and I've got access to another one right here. So we're kind of good on that. I think the 11 by 11 room will work out pretty well too. I think that'll look good. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, we got a marriage ceremony going on. Fun to put in a few caves. Uh, I don't, I, I wouldn't be able to make IEDs right now. I don't have the materials required, so. It wouldn't be any use to me, to me at the moment because I wouldn't be able to use them. Well, I guess these guys get to fight some coyotes for me. So, assemble the crew. Assemble this crew. Out front. Let's see. Uh, you've got a gun. So, gun. 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 Uh, you've got a gun. You, you, what are you better at? You're better at melee, though, so you could go to the front. Same with you. This guy's got a charge pistol. Bakken, whatever you do, don't go outside. I'll I'll fill out the the, the, the back rows with my own guys. There's the coyotes. Rawr, 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 rawr. Assembling the crew. Bakken, Bach, you're 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 meandering danger close. Uh, move you back, move you up. Wait, hang on, take a look here. Shooting fifteen. Uh, I got I, we got one more spot up front here. Put Mayor there. I love the little spitty animation. Really cool picture to see Dan yesterday. I think Texas had a poisonous blue dragon sea slug. I, I have no idea what that is. Here, while the coyotes are a, a, attacking, uh, I'll, I'll look it up. Blue dragon sea slug. Oh, that is sweet looking. That is a that is, that is a nifty looking little animal there. Also, the fact that they're poisonous makes them cooler. I don't think this, these coyotes aren't very strong, so I don't think this is gonna be a problem. We're already down, we're already through a third of them. CJ looks like he got, maybe got it in the neck or something though. Uh, leg, hand, hand, leg. Not too bad, really. I don't, need to, I don't need to care about their lives though. They don't need to survive. I love it when the quests are like, we will we will give you some people to use because it's always like, well, they're not living. Make sure you don't use any of my meds by accident. All right, finish those ones off. Oh God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to increase the size of the corpse dumping area. Because there's a bot of... Bought a few of them to get rid of now. Bought a few. Done and done. Did you get did you get tended? No, you didn't. That's fine though. That's fine. Maybe eh, it's, it's barely this is gonna be barely any meat. They're man hunting, so most of them are going to insta rot. And even even the ones that don't. There's not going to be that much meat on... There's not that much meat on a coyote. So let's see. We've got... Uh, how many right here? Two, three, four, f five coyotes. It's not much meat. It's less than two... It's probably less than 200 meat. All right. All that in. You guys can leave. And we're pr probably going to put this on Austria. Well... 
Who's my best? Who's actually who's my best melee person? That doesn't have like a pre-existing good uh, shooting skill as well. Looking for someone. It might be Mayor then. Well, you have a shooting skill too. I have. Well, okay, no. I have no good. I have no perfect candidates. All the people who have a good melee skill have a good shooting skill as well. The only person with a good melee skill and not a good shooting skill is my doctor, who I'm sure is fuck not putting on the front line. So we'll we'll have to decide which one it needs to go into. All right, get rid of those. Tell them to close that door. How cold is it? Yeah, we gotta get that door shut. We're trying to get rid- We got a lot of rotting corpses we need to mulch through here. And clean- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, Jigsy. <laughs> Appreciate it. Good fault. We cleaned up some space in here, too, by dumping a lot of stuff outside. And they're making progress over here. Well, tell them to get rid of this, too. A lot of components in there. That's good. Don't have much use of the components right now, but components are always good to have around. Well, I mean, they're always good to have around if you... There are downsides. <laughs> Scra scratch that. There are downsides if you're not using them. Because if you're not using them and they're just sitting around in piles, they're susceptible to being destroyed by in mental breaks, and they're increasing the wealth of your colony for something you're not using. All right, like, we got the door shut now, at least. That's good. Oh, can I, um... No, I was gonna say, do I have access to the, uh, the vents yet? No, I do not. It's always better. I would say it's always better to have some than none, but not, like, having, like, hundreds, big stacks of them sitting around is asking for trouble. Uh, an alpacable head bag and a raptor leather pelt coat. Pelt coat actually is nice. Make use of that. Yeah, between the... I was gonna say, between the axolotls are... I wonder if axolotls are in the game. I feel like I've seen them before, but I might be wrong. Between the coyotes and the salamanders. There's a... There's about a few corpses. Alright, alright. That's taken care of. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Richie, uh, I think I'm miss- am I missing one, um... Richie, what are you? You're my Pontifex Maximus. You're the third- oh, okay. Kurt is the third Triumvir. Right, I'm gonna put them together over here, then. So, the- 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 there's Caesar, the second Triumvir, the third Triumvir, and there's my Pontifex Maximus. Cool. Second there- for a second there, I thought I had not given out the third Triumvir slot, but I did. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Ba back to now, now we can get back to work and we figure out who to put that stone skin gland into. I've got some glitter tech meds. We're not going to risk failing that surgery, so we would just glitter tech it. Also, I should have um, someone use up this tech print. Oh. Circadian influence. Not that I have access to circadian stuff right now, but later on. Alright, let's just go through the motions here. So, shooting 14, melee 10. Not Kurd, because you're my doctor. Austrian only has a melee of six. So, Perturbi? But, Perturbi is, is plus one... Well, okay, so two ways of looking at it. Perturbi is plus one beauty. Stone Skin Gland is minus two beauty. What's wrong? Why are you whining? What's the matter? Yeah, I told you she would. Um, two, two, two ways of, of looking at it, like I was saying. The pretty, well, we could either look at it like the, the pretty will offset the ugly. So instead of going to minus two beauty, it's only minus one. Or 
we, we would say, hey, it's better to have a beautiful person in the colony and an ugly person. So dump all the ugly into one person and keep the, this person beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning towards giving um, Perturbi here the stone skin gland and making them my, my prime melee person, really. So da daddy's another um, option because very high melee. And Mayor's a good option. Actually, Mayor, nimble martial artist, melee 15. I think Mayor's the way to go. All right, health, operation. Uh, how bad is that? Oh my God, 19% pain from an ear scar? Jesus Christ. Wow, I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna have to, I think I need an ear bandage to put over it to, to, to do what I want. Okay, install stone skin gland. And no, Mayor is not a doctor, incapable of doctoring. I think that's 19% in relation to the body person. I, I think that's just straight up 19%. Yep. Nineteen percent pain. That is a lot of fucking pain <laughs> for an ear scar. Uh, hang on. You know what I need is I need to come in here. Do I know how to make a an ear bandage? Oh my god, do I not ear? I don't know how to make an ear bandage, so I can't cut it off. I can't just remove it. Because it's not on the harvest option. It's not on the remove option. Curd, you doing doing it with the right stuff? Yes, you are. Beautiful. Set that back. Now what we're also going to do is come in here and uh, make a... Uh, Send us some, some armor. And we have plenty of steel available right now, so make it out of steel. Alright, and who's my best crafter? That's Curd. Okay, uh... Curd's good with the hands. There we go. That is not too much work for a helmet, really. 200 work for, for a nice steel helmet? I'll take it. And is this electric? Uh, yes. Ooh, and I can build the smith. I do have access to a smithing cabinet as well. So let's get that up. We're, yeah, yeah. Mayor here is going to look like a badass pretty soon. I'll let Kurt ra uh, uh, go get a meal after this. All right, just drop it on the ground. Normal quality, decent armor. Man, I do need to get to get that pain under control, though, because someone being in constant pain means they're more likely to kind of fall over. Hey. Crafting seven, that's fine. And hey, Folk here, how we doing? Magnus trying to convert daddy. Oh, I still have people to convert. Oh, I probably have a lot of ID Legion people to worry about. I know we were working on Jidge, but just made, like, no progress on it. Um, Richie, convert, Jidge. 54, that was, pretty, that was a pretty good one, honestly. About 20%. Not bad. Mr. Maya, do me a favor. Forswear that. Super cool looking. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we'll go ahead and fill that in with some walls. And we're going to need to make sure this is all smoothed out so that we can get power and utilities back here. I, I think I think 11 by 11 is a perfectly fine size for a barracks, for, for a starter bar barracks. And actually, you know, it's, it's, this is kind of funny. It feels kind of liberating 
after uh, spending a lot of time making like bases with all circular rooms, going in here and just drawing a square. Just going, just gonna be like, we're gonna make, we're gonna make a fucking square room, and everything's gonna fit evenly even to the corners. It's like, oh, forgot how nice that is. Classic square, square hallway base. What, what, what do you mean by square hallway? Or is that, is that square comma hallway? Got a little bit more work to do on that, but it's okay. He's fine. Mr. Maya there is gonna be a fucking badass. Try a base with a nice village look. I the 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 issue I have with freestanding buildings is that it's such a it's such a it's 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 a much huger pain in the ass to heat and cool building if you if you're not using like a self-contained area. It's so easy to just say to vent all of the rooms into like the main hallways. They all share heat and cooling, so it's all kind of normalized. <laughs> Take on the War Bonds mod? I don't know that. I, I've never heard of that. I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, what the fuck happened here? Uh, I got my thumb bit off. What the fuck did you guys just do to each other? I I smashed his leg off. Why? What? What? I was not paying attention. What the fuck did we just do to each other? Why did that happen? That was a pretty vicious social fight. We lost a thumb and a leg in a social fight. That's pretty horrific. That's 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 disturbing. Jesus Christ. The ear pain? Nah, it's a different person. That's Mayor. Mayor's the one with the ear pain. Well, hell. That, that, that was, that was, ter that was terrible. <laughs> okay, fuck me. All this needs to be hauled out. Well, I don't have any way of replacing that leg yet. Oh, God. Uh, D Daddy here is starting to, <laughs> starting to suffer from, uh, you know, you know, you know, stacking wounds. Missing, like, 60% of an eye and a leg now. Passive way of making money by buying war bonds, and you get random loot from groups depending on the number of bonds you have. Uh... Passive way of making money. I don't know if I like that, actually. I don't really have... <laughs> I, I find one of the more interesting things to do in the game is to try to find an interesting way to... Uh, uh, to sustain a, a healthy economy. So to me, like, passive economy seems a little meh. Seems a little lame. Do a couple other things with war bands. Okay, so one person called it war bonds and one person called it war bands, which are two distinctly different things. Which, which one is correct? Hey, Centurion Armor. Richie, absolutely not. Mayor. Forswear. Ooh, it's good quality, too. War Bonds Autocrack doesn't like the word. Okay, there we go. Oh, what a badass. And he's got... I, that's a Spatha, right? He's even got a Roman, uh, well, it's a Roman cavalry sword. Less silver and more stuff like track suits? The fuck? <laughs> alright, alright. This is fine. This is fine. Every, everything's fine. There we 
we go. I, I think I'd have to take a look at it. Um, whoo. Vegetable milk extraction allows the colonists to extract milk from rice, oats, almonds, coconuts, and soybeans. We, we could be hipster doofuses. I say that, but we have, we have uh, oat milk in the fridge right now. Ah. <laughs> uh, I kind of love that idea, honestly. Yeah, let's, let's milk it up. Man bun when? Uh, I think a man bun would help me fit into my neighborhood. Ooh, we got an inspired taming. Do I know what an animal is, though? Uh, not really, no. I, li I live in a, a very hipstery area. Uh, structure. We're just gonna put in some doors. I'm gonna get some lights up in here. Uh, do, 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 do. We have been trying to reach you concerning your car's extended warranty, Kappa. Hey, <laughs> I sold my car. That, doesn't, that bullshit doesn't fly with me anymore. Evenly spaced lights. It's beautiful. And Talum, thanks for the redoodly as well. This is more All lights. All roads lead to colony. Just this is actually far more lights than is that is necessary. You know, it would probably be a good way to light these rooms, because I think it'll do. I think at this size, it'll do the whole thing. Settle. Oh yeah, I'll settle in pretty well now. Uh, would be to go to do. Just put a ceiling fan in the center of the room. I think that'll get. I think that'll even get into the corners. Doom! We'll see. Test it out. Sweeting terribly cold? No, no, no. It's 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 really mild, really. It's 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 far more mild than both the places I have lived most of my life. New York was far colder than Sweden, and Florida was far hotter. <laughs> like the winter here, it tends to well in Stockholm. I mean, it gets. It gets uh, mild. No, no. It's, I've been here since January. It's been mild the whole fucking time. Um, it got down to minus six, like two days that I've been here. So he, it, here, like the the, the, the weather, it, go, it goes like in the winter, it's been going between like most days. It's between like negative two months, and positive crap. two. Magnu Oldman, Magnu Oldman, Magnu Flanders, hey, you're gonna be. Magnu Flanders. How you doing? So it, it's it's been it, it, the old, it's only gotten like down to like minus six minus eight like two or three days since I've been here and I've been here since January, um, and it's been floating between minus two to minus eight. Where in New York, every single day would be minus thirty to or, or minus forty in the winter and be horribly strong winds <laughs> whipping off the lake because we're right under the lake effect El Nino area and be just dumping feet of snow on you while there's driving winds and it's minus 30. Well, here in Sweden, it's like, oh, it's minus two and it's sunny and there's a gentle breeze. Celsius. So yes, this is this is extraordinarily mild based on my my past experiences. Like he, here, two centimeters of snow, and everyone's like, "Oh my God, the weather! Oh, it's fucking crazy!" And in in New York, it's like, "Okay, there's only one foot of snow. Don't even talk to me about that. I'm gonna drive in, no problem." It, it's only like 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 the amount of snow that would need to fall in New York for it to be problematic was okay. I need to dig a tunnel to get out of my house. That they would that was that would be the amount of snow before anybody would care. All right, shuttle crash. Uh, two alive. Got a lot of people right. Thin skin, fast walker, stoner. That's a hard no. Undergrounder and quick sleeper. Oh, that one's that that one's real good, honestly. Uh, Kurd, come out here and stabilize this one. 
As much as I'm happy with my people we have right now, that's a really good colonist. Undergrounder, quick sleeper, uh, no, main, no, no real skills, but a passion on shooting, construction, mining, animals, artistic. Move to the other side of the ball uh, uh, tell me it's mild. I've been in Finland for the last uh, six months. Yeah, no, it's it, that it's 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 still mild here. It's very mild here. That that's that's it. My that's my entire point is Swedes think it's hor it's horrible crazy weather, while a normal person will say no, that's super mild. Stop your bitching. What's funny is uh. The, uh, the, 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 like, winter is not even really over here yet. I mean, it, you know, spring's kind of like, you know, you know, you know poking its head around. And they're already complaining about how bad the, uh, the summer is. There was, like, uh, there was, like, a, like, a 300 thread, like, post thread on Slack last week of people at work going, Oh, my God. Oh, it's gonna get so hot here in the summer. Oh, whatever will we do? Just like everybody complaining about the heat. Magnus is spirit inspiration. Oh, that's just the taming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That that that's that's also kind of my my, my point, Cyrus. Is that the, the Euros are gonna bitch up a storm no matter what the weather's like. Uh, ooh, that is perfect. We figured out how to how to milk a plant, and now we can figure out how to turn it into some horrible vegan cheese. Beautiful. Not that I really have uh, an indoor growing set, set up yet, but you know we'll get there. And uh, Jesseth, welcome, welcome. All right, all right. We have a room. Upstate New York doesn't count as normal. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm not saying that's normal. I'm saying that's what I'm used to. That's why it's funny to me. It, you, know, you know, if there is a mild wind and a centimeter of snow, the Swedes think it's the end. It's the fucking apocalypse. Meanwhile, like back in high school, if there'd be, you know, there would be two feet of snow on the ground, you'd be like, yeah, of course we're going to school. Why would I not? There were times in New York where we lost power and the pipes burst in the school, flooded, and then froze, and they didn't send us home because they were like, yeah, you just turn the Bunsen burners on. You, you have everybody go into the chemistry rooms, you turn the Bunsen burners on for heat, and you put on your jacket, and you keep teaching. It's like, why, why bother sending the kids, the kids home? There's no power, there's no heat, but we can fix those. Around the great, yeah, exactly. Around the Great Lakes, normal winters are where you can't see the buses in the road cannons. Exactly. Southeast of the United States. Yeah, I mean, I lived in New York for most of my life, but then I lived in Florida for for nine years. So it was like I got the extremes. That I mean, I think that's why the, the the whole Swedes complaining about the weather thing is is like quintessentially funny to me because I I was sitting on the extremes my entire life like you know really 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 bad winters and really 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 bad summers and now I'm I'm in land of the mild affection who the fuck oh that's the one I put oh yeah no I I. I did cram seed weeds into your neck wound and expect you to just be fine. So, no, yeah, that tracks. Uh, tend. You can use up some of my herbal. Under complaint, it's called. I complain it's nasty and gray. That's my... Th see? The, exactly. The gray is wonderful. I love the gray skies. I don't want the sunlight. I want, I want, I want gray skies in, in cool weather is what it makes me happy. Gray, sky, gray, like, like, the sun comes out and I, it, it like, it was, so it was sunny today. And, like, the sun was, like, indirectly coming into my apartment by bouncing off the, the, the wall of the apartment across the way and then into my windows. And I was like, ah, oh, shut the blinds. Like it's it's pretty sunny today. I got two level layers of blinds shut. I like the gray. 
For me, the per- perfect weather for me is like is like uh, negative two to positive four. Gray, rain, snow, a little bit of wind. Like, that's me. That's what I want. <laughs> So like like the the other day it was you know you know we had a couple days where it was it like felt pretty springy and then we had a day last week where it went from nice like I don't know like ten degree C sunny springy day down to like negative two and snowing and everybody at work was was all pissed off they were taking pictures of the snow out of the the the, the office windows and posting on slack and, and bitching about it and i like, like i went like i'm walking home like ah, oh, it's perfect it's perfect i love it what we got out here uh send us a message subject using the nearby broadcast station to base our operations site is controlled by fenlia empire just want me to go kill some people Um, I don't know if I want to go out and do an expedition. I'd rather focus on building my base right now. I would have to, I would have to go out in an expedition and kill them. Well, I mean, there's no downside to accepting it and then not doing it. We could always accept it and say and figure out if we can do it when the like the weather gets a little better. All right, let's see where it is at least. Put our SPF 5000 sunscreen. So my my strategy Rouse is to just never be exposed to direct sunlight. Okay, so there's the broadcasting station and there's me. It's not that bad. Uh Right now in the winter, it's four and a half days. So nine, call it 10 days travel time in right now in winter. That's, that's too much to do right now. But maybe when the, maybe when the winter ends, we're halfway through it. Spring's going to come soon. All right. How's the light looking here? Oh, it doesn't hit the corners. Okay. So it's, it's not good enough. Okay. So. I want to make sure the room's appropriately lit, especially because this is like a cave area. So we'll just do it with regular lights. Um, we'll go. We'll just do it the old, the old-fashioned way by evenly distributing some lights into the room. Uh, some. I think that should get the whole room if we do it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four lights will do the whole room. That'll be fine. Can't handle the burning rays of the sun. No. It, it, well, that's the thing. Is it's like honestly, I oh that person joined. Good. I I I I I can handle the sun. You know, I worked outside at Disney World, so you know, middle of summer in Florida, outside in you know a t-shirt and short pants and like nothing else, because man, you want to wear the least amount of layers possible in, in that circumstance. Um, and, you know, I actually, I got tan. I had the, the stupidest looking tans in the world. I handled it fine. I just didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Why do people never uh, make tunnels reach the uh, the edge of the map? Uh, because it is possible for raids to spawn in. I don't know if it's true anymore, but it used to be true uh, that raids could spawn in uh, if you... If you actually breach through to the edge, they could actually come in that way. So if you leave, if you but if you leave it like with a little nub there, then there's no risk of people, you know, knocking on the back door. Uh, let's name this one. This is a good colonist. Voldrin. Isn't that better with them in the end of a very long quarter into gunfire? Well, I mean, if you want that to be a thing, but I don't, I don't see it. I, to, I, I don't, I don't see a situation where that would be more beneficial 
than having them because then they're right into the middle of your base basically <laughs> if things go tits up rather than like me doing it the other way around where i will have this huge long corridor where I could have layered defenses, because I'm going to breach this through all the way to there, and then they would have to come through, you know, the other edges of the map and come all the way in there and have layered defenses. Allows Trader to leave safe if something outside might kill them. Well, who the fuck cares about that? <laughs> who the shit cares about a trader after you've traded with them? If anything, them dying is beneficial because then they'll drop the stuff that you traded them and you could just take it back. <laughs> I, I, I see literally no positive to breaching the walls to let things go in and out through there. In, in, the, the, in, my, in my mind, there is no positive. Do they not have a, a doodly? Oh, that bugs me. Is it like a great... What, why? Why? Oh, it's all weird. No. I gotta fix it. It looked like it was off, but it was on. <laughs> yeah, I, I see no positive in, in adding in extra areas where there could be problems. Oh, why? It's not a dark light. Dark lights look like that. Oh, it's bugged. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay now. Oh. oh. It's okay now. It's fine. It's fine. I can stop flipping out. There we go. Let's move that. Uh, I believe the smooth floors are actually faster to walk on. This is 93%. Yeah, so it is faster to walk on a smooth floor. So we should get that done too. My, yeah, no, that, that gave me that gave me a fucking panic attack there. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to burn the game down. Yeah, it's a seven percent difference, so it's not that big of a difference. But in the meantime, we could tell them to um, keep doing other chambers as well. Keep mining out more rooms. You leave an IED at the entrance of the tunnel so anybody who shows up uh, uninvited that way. Well, the thing is, is that IEDs are kind of shit. I know people like using them, but in terms of efficiency, IEDs are kind of crap. They're expensive, uh, and they don't do a lot of damage. So I honestly don't use them very often. What rounds to cook off? Eh. Same, same situation. It's why bother? You could you you could get the um, you could get the same uh, the same effect um, using other strategies to more efficiently. Anti grain IED. Uh, no, I I I, I would say anti grain IED would probably be the worst kind to use because the 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 buy in cost is so huge and the chance of it getting a good shot off is so low. Because usually what happens is enemies string out. And if they if one hits an IED, it will usually only hit just that guy or just a few. Where if you launch an IED shell, you could target the middle of a group. It's just, it's just, it's just IEDs are just not that good. Oh yeah. Uh, can I build? I can. I can build hammers. I think I did build some hammers, didn't I? I think I distributed them all already, though. Oh, that's fine. Like any, any, um, anything you could do with an IED, you could do more effectively in a different way because the IEDs they're just expensive to build and they're not very effective. Like, if I wanted to use fire as a weapon, I would just put wood floors down and have someone throw a Molotov cocktail and then shut the door. Traps that are not resettable have the same problem. Yeah, it's it, it, it's cost to benefit. 
That's why I don't like the deadfall. Like, the deadfall traps used to be super, super good. Because the buy-in cost was... In fact, they were too good, which is why they, um... Uh, which is why they changed them. Um, but you only had to pay the construction cost once, then you just turned it back on after someone tripped it, basically. You just went over there, it was a little bit of work. But now the, 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 the deadfall traps are really good, but they're super expensive. Like, I can, this is a situation where I would be able to afford the buy-in cost of the, the, the deadfall traps, because I have fuck tons of blocks, but normally I don't have this many blocks to spend. Like, how much do they cost? Um, yeah, they're 45, and it's a one-time use. It's a lot. And then the work to build it. It's 300 work. That's a lot. What's an I? Oh, um, improvised explosive device. So in this, it's you take a couple ar artillery shells, wire them together, and put them in it as a trap. And uh, they 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 go off if someone walks over them. The, the other problem is, is that a lot of the times, the enemies see them. Ooh, they've showed up again. Let's try to get these tamed. It's the third time they've showed up. We haven't been able to get them yet. A lot of times the enemies see them, so like you'll have them in the perfect spot, and then they'll just go, oh, there's a big ass trap right there. They just walk around them and they never get tripped. In my experience, 90, like, 8% of the time, they either don't get tripped because they saw them and walked around, or it'll only injure, like, one guy. Basically a mine. They call it a mine. They call it a mine! I just watched that yesterday with Leah. You know, it's, it's funny. I didn't, because I've, I've, every single time I've watched the movie, there was something I never got about, um, the, the Mori, Mines of Moria scene, was that it always seemed nuts to me that Gimli goes in there and is surprised that it's that everybody's dead. Like he didn't know. Hey, I got one of the axe. He didn't know, which confuses me. And I was like, doesn't make any sense. This place has clearly been abandoned and destroyed for a very, very long time. How, how is it that they don't know, like, how does he, he doesn't know that, uh, that this happened? It doesn't make sense to me. So I look, after, you know, it's, the, uh, the movie came out, like, 20 years ago or whatever, I finally just Googled it on my phone when I was watching it yesterday, and it's, it's that there's two levels there that I was unaware of. Level one is that, um, Casa Doom, is it Casa Doom? Is that what the, the dwarf name, or, uh, uh, Dwarven Dell or something like that. I can't remember what the what what they called it before while it was a city. Was destroyed 500 years ago. And that's common knowledge. Everybody knows that it's been destroyed. But then 25 years ago, Balin takes an expedition to drive the orcs out and resettle it. And it was that expedition that they hadn't heard from and they didn't know what everybody was dead and wiped out. So I didn't, because I'm not, like, super up on my Tolkien lore, I didn't know that there was, there, there was those two different things. But that, there's another thing in there that doesn't make, that, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, either. Um, ooh, basic furniture, that would be nice. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's, it's probably just a, 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 a timing thing, but... So, Balin is the leader of the expedition. The expedition gets wiped out. When the Fellowship of the Ring gets there, they find Balin's tomb. Balin's tomb is a, like, beautifully hewn sarcophagus. Like, like dwarven craftsmanship made. With, you know, the inscription, Here lies Balin, son of Fundin, Lord of Moria, or something like that. Like, carved into the stone of, like, the headstone there. When the fuck did they have time to make that if they were, like, being harangued by orcs the whole time? Because ba Balin gets killed by orcs, and I, I, I guess I would have to, to figure out the chronology, but it always it seemed to me like he gets killed by orcs, and then there's, like, a running battle back. But it was like, they had it, it pre-made? <laughs> They pre-made the tomb? 
Don't dwarves live for a long... I mean, maybe it was like an Egyptian pharaoh thing and it was like, this is going to take a long time to make. I guess we'll get started now. I, I guess that makes the most logical sense? Oh, there's the other... We're getting those anime acts nice and easy, though. But still, it was like, it was, it was like, wait, do, do, or, 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 like, my first mental image was them, bar, like, barred inside that room, because that's where they made their last stand. Like, barred inside the room, with, like, the orcs bashing down the door, and they're like, all right, we drag this corpse in here, someone grab, someone carve a sarcophagus out of the wall, we're all about to die, let's at least make this nice. He died in... Oh, yeah, no, he does die in the initial assault, but at no point... I, I couldn't figure out how long... How long a period of time there was between when he gets ambushed by... Because I think he got ambushed by orcs, like, outside of the city or near the entrance or something like that, and then they recovered his body. But it seemed to me when I was reading about it that it, that it was like, okay, he gets, uh, he gets killed, and then there's, like, a running battle through the city, and then that's where they made their last stand. But I don't know if it was, like, days, months, weeks, years between when he dies and when the last stand was. I couldn't figure that out. How long How long of a period of time between when Balin gets killed and when the final stand is, is what I didn't know. And I still don't know. And no squats, Casca. I'm, I, am, I am settled on orcs. I'm going orcs. Because they're cool. Not not token orcs, Warhammer orcs. Token orcs are kind of just you know, generic, but Warhammer orcs are fun and silly. Alright, alright. We're making progress. We got rooms. This one's almost ready to live in. Is it cold? It's a little on the chilly side. We'll go ahead and put some of those in there. Works are fun. Exactly, because they're they're different ba like they get different stats based on the color I paint them. That's just fun. <laughs> I can make sneaky sneaky dwarves. Or uh orcs. Only race in Warhammer that are having a good time, exactly. I was actually I was looking on uh, uh, online about like what's available, what I might want to get, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get uh you know you know shoot for like a 500 point orc army and then go from there. All right, warming up, warming up, beautiful. All right, I think what we will do, uh, I overdosed on opium again. It's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. I'm not concerned. It's just a minor opium overdose. It's fine. All right. More more smoothing going down. This is fine. This is fine. We're, we had a lot of. We actually have a number of good constructors and miners now, so it's not that bad. Uh, AC pottery or longbows. Um, honestly, I don't think I could say no to AC at this point. Expedition started in 2989. Balin dies uh, 2994. Frodo. Uh, okay, so no, but that's the that's that's not the date that we were looking for. Those are the dates we know. It's when they got there, when he died, and when Frodo arrives, which is like 25 years later or something like that. What I was saying is, what is the time difference between when Balin dies and when the expedition is wiped out? That time period. That's what I was concerned about, uh, 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 or curious about. That's the time, the, 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 the time period I was looking for. Work players may not always win, but they always have the most. That, that's exactly, actually when I was playing Warhammer with my friend at work, um, he was saying that he doesn't play a lot of Warhammer right now because a lot of the people we, we play with are very meta. They're very hardcore. They're very, I just want to win. Um, and he was just like, I don't really like, I don't have fun playing with them because they just want to make the best army available and kick everybody's ass. 
And I was like, okay, good. We're on the same page there. I don't give a flying rat's ass about making an army uh, that is meta or as good as possible. I just want to have a, a fun time and play a game and, you know, whatever. You know, just play for fun. So we've got, we, we, we have like a core group of people who we know are, how, are the same mentality who are like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care about winning. I just want to play. And Ospec Ninja, welcome, welcome. I just want to play for fun. So we have a, a good group of people that we know are, you know, mentally on the same page in terms of playing. Which is good, which is good to know. Because it, you, you know, it's never fun if, if one person is just trying to win and one person is playing for fun. Oop. Right, I, dro I dropped all my shit when I passed out from my opium overdose. Five years now, like Cecilia, that Gimli spoke of Moria after being a nice place and all, so it must have had some time to set up before being attacked by orcs. Well, yeah, the expedition was in there for like 25 years. They were in there for a while, right? No, 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 it was 25 years between when the expedition goes in and when the fellowship goes in. So, that, so yeah, it was a significant, no matter what, it's a significant period of time. Year, years at least so yeah because there was enough time to know that they were there and set up imposing construction yes please um yeah yeah that's fine a little bit of honor maybe I'm looking for things around my desk there we go haven't played since 5th edition, I think. What edition are we on now? 8? 9? I don't even know. How big is this? It's not that big. 14 by 15. Psychic sensitizer is good to have around sometimes. I think I'll take it. Yeah, this is really not that big. So I can just... I'm just I mean, we might need to make a little location to put it. But that's okay. Did I take... Oh my god, I'm still... Holy shit, Magnus! Stop taking opium for two seconds! Jesus Christ, dude! For... <laughs> Stop taking opium long enough to stop passing out from the opium. God damn it. Take it so far in the mountain. Protection. Go all, I'm going all the way to the back and then I'm going to work my way up. We got, we got rooms. Beautiful. Okay, uh, do we have any other wreck items available? No, we don't have any other wreck items available yet. So what I'm just going to do is move the wreck items uh, in, in, into this room right here. Oh, it's perfect! It is the perfect hoop room. I love it. And we'll bring our board game back there too. We'll just set it up in the corner. <laughs> it's the perfect hoop room. <laughs> nice and toasty in there. Move this out too. I'll su oh my god, did I do it again? Oh my god, what is he doing? <laughs> what in the fuck? I've never seen a colonist do this before. <laughs> he passes out from an opium overdose, wakes up while he's still high, and then immediately goes and gets more opium. Nor nor normally it's like I'm high right now. I don't need to keep going. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh yeah, and we don't we're not going to be we don't have a good way of feeding these guys. So what we're going to do is wait for him to pass out from starvation and then just cram a meal down their throat. Or I could I mean, I, if I wanted to, I can put meals out there for them. We have plenty. There's plenty of meat out there to hunt right now, too. Probably because of the tolerance. Well, th th no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that he's not even over 
he's still high as fuck when he goes over there and, and gets more opium again. Normally they don't do that. Normally they don't, like, normally they do that if they're on a binge, not just, like, day to day. Like, I am still overdosed. I got food poison. Oh no, he's doing it again! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we might need to deal with this problem. Okay, okay. Um. All right, all right, all right. Opium is dangerous. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do is... Make an opium room. And I passed out. It's because of the food poisoning that time. Someone fucked up some meals and gave a lot of people food poisoning. Food poisoning right now is good for Magnus, though. It's gonna keep him on his ass for a bit. Let's make some, um... Animal beds out here. Okay. Man, I thought opium would be fun, but apparently opium's highly addictive and dangerous. I feel like we're role playing a good a, a, a good proper wealthy Roman though. This is on low, right? Yeah it is. Go get rid of that. Get rid of that. Move that. Thank you. And then we're just gonna go ahead and lock it away. There we go. Makes it fun exactly. Like, I, I gave Magnus a little bit of opium for the pain. Uh, not, not thinking about that. It is far more addicted than every other drug in the game. Worker outsourcing. Uh, skill trainer, three colonists for six days. For art. I'm gonna pass on that one. Or, no, not, not, I'm not, I'm not gonna get rid of, I'm, I'm trying to do a lot of work right now. I'm not gonna do that for art right now. Carpet art, auto doors. Auto doors, please, those are super useful. We're actually flying through research right now because we have multiple good researchers in two benches. All right, so we actually do have a rec room now. Very impressive rec room. But yeah, Magnus is a good miner. Constantly mining for more opium. Still, nope, no beds. We can do basic beds. Uh, we did unlock that. Um, the fur beds, but actually the bed rolls are equivalent. So there's no point in using them because those are, um, I think, a Viking vanilla expanded Viking item, maybe. Where are these from? Vikings, yeah. They're. I, I, I think they might be slightly worse, if anything. Let's see. Comfort. 0.71, 80, 106, 98. So they're ex slightly more comfortable. They've got their the surgery success chance is lower. Beauty to gain speed is 1% higher. And rest effectiveness is, this is 95. What was that one? 98. So... Uh oh. Okay. This is fine. This is this is fine. This is fine. 
make sure we're shooting that bear. Ooh, good shot. All right, well, uh, time to... Oh, no, Perturby, you're not the person I wanted to send into this. Um, how fast is the bear right now? Oh, yeah, we got, we got its moving speed down a lot, so let's let's keep running away. I kind of want Mayor to, 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 to... Oh, you've got... What does that do? Presence of Citrian armor encourages nearby allies fighting to fight through pain. Oh, cool! I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, these people are kind of fucked up right now, so... This food poisoning is knocking them down a bit. Dodge. Yeah, there you go. Ah, right, success. All right, and what we'll do over here is we'll just put a little tiny stockpile zone uh, right there. And go meals. Tell them to throw some food outside for the animals. Till, till the spring hits and we can do some uh, farming. Mayor fell down. Success. Success. Malnutrition Success. and food poisoning. Magnus is not going to be a happy camper. Because now we're starting to go through withdrawal. Opium withdrawal. This is fine. This is fine. Need to work on this too. Uh, we're just gonna make it out of marble because we have a fuck ton of marble. Go we'll do the doors last. Might go to spree. Oh, I'm sure I, it's a distinct possibility. But we're, we're going to see if we can cold turkey him without uh, arresting him. Just Maybe we'll get lucky. I, uh, man, it would, it would be nice if I could we wean him off the, the opium and wean him onto some yayo, but just don't have that option right now. Smokely. Oh, God, no. Smokely's terrible. Smokeleaf is just the worst. At least opium, you still got your uh, your cognitive abilities. Opium, you smoke, you smoke some uh, some smoke leaf, and you're, you're turned into an idiot. This symbol will block to get to the opium. Yeah, no, they won't do that. They won't do that. We're in the clear. See, little mental break never hurt anybody. Little minor mental break there. The Killers! That's a name. Uh, well, they arrived in transport pod, so I'm assuming there's gonna be some guns in there. They will prepare for a while and it's pretty cold out, but they look like they have jackets on. Yeah, there's a bot a few guns in there. The bot, bot a few, bot a few guns. Check out their gear. I wonder if they're going to start. Uh, some of their gear's not that good, actually. Some of them will start suffering. Well, except for this guy. Maybe it's the gloves. Uh, uh, some of them will start suffering a little bit. Just out of curiosity, uh, didn't I unlock a beacon of some kind? Yeah, can I? Oh, are we out of wood? There are trees. Do I do I have time to light a beacon? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Who's a uh, a, a plant cutter? Bakken, where are you? All right, you're only right here. Okay, so get in here. Come down here and start chopping down some trees. The beacons are lit. Gondor calls for aid.
Oh no, Magnus is outside on a mental break right now. We might have to arrest him. How are you possibly having trouble with hunger? Oh, because, yeah, no, the problem is, is that you've been food poisoned and keep barfing it up. Well, there goes my dude who's supposed to hold the door. All right, need a constructor. Jidge. Start working on that. See if we can get a beacon, a beacon lit before they decide to attack. Uh, I'm going to need Curd to come over here and... Oop, nope, not Curd. Was it... Richie? Arrest Magnus. Because we got to get him inside. Where are you going? Coming all the way out here to grab a block? No, don't do that. All right. The Theoretically, lighting a beacon should send aid. Okay, they're beginning their assault. So everybody but Jidge... Needs to come over here. Jidge, you need to finish the beacon as quickly as possible. And see what happens. I don't know how this thing works. Large pile of wood uh, carefully atop of the platform. Once lit, uh, silly bird brought for three days. Lighting such a beacon will signal a friendly faction that your settlement is in need of help. Auxiliary military engineers usually arrive shortly afterwards. They will both fight and build alongside you. Fully built after, rebuilt after extinguishing. Help can only be uh, requested once every uh, time and only every three days. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. The, the time. The, it's not a lot of time. How are they, how are they doing uh, health wise? Uh, some of them are starting to shiver. Some of them have some addictions. Some of them are scarred up pretty good. Hopefully, lighting it is easy. Oh, nobody likes me. <laughs> well, hell. I think, I think the right idea is going to be to try to funnel them in then. Shoot them up as they try to get through the door. Hey, Bum rush them into melee combat. Have it's a, it's a, what's a shame is that I'm down more. two people right now who are good in combat. My best combat guy is on a mental break. And Magnus, who's also very good in combat, is uh, on a mental break. Um, I might be able to have Richie run over and try to calm Mayor down. I do have I do have a bear on my side too. So combat command. Death. Alright, alrighty, alrighty. This is this is this it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. This is this is fine, this is fine. I just uh we're just gonna get some of these people into positions where they can shoot. Heard you don't really know how to use that, so. Do me a favor, Curd, drop that on the ground. Or was it Daddy? Daddy, you pick that up. Come on over here. There we go. No murder bears, cows. I got one bear. I got a bear. I got a bear friend. I'm really hoping we get uh, Major uh, uh, out of this mental break. We'll have a couple people come down this way. A couple people wait over this way. Oh, successfully calm down, Mayor. Just take a second now. Um, Richie. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Cur well, Curd. You're my doctor, so you're gonna wait in here. Oh, that that sound effect makes me sad now. No arrows in that bow. Uh, which one? 
You've got arrows. You've got arrows. You've got arrows. Okay, you need to come over here. That's industrial. Oh, we don't have any ammo available. Uh, well, in that case, um, run, run in here and grab a shotgun. Richie. Mayor. Uh, yeah. Bioco. Oh, that was a bioco. Oh, okay, I'll go. There's another one. There's another one. Drop that. Equip that. That is a sidearm. Um. Oh, that already had ammo in it. Cool. And if someone wants to quickly run over here and open the door for them, actually, I would appreciate it. I, I want them to kind of come in wanted. Oh, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted. Was hoping that I'd be able to, to weaken them as they were coming in rather than letting them stack up on the door and come in all at once. Oh, right in the liver hole. Oh, come on. All right, uh, bear. Do these not provide cover? Oh, their cover is shit. So I, I've, okay, there's a little bit of cover, but it's kind of garbage. This dude with the pistol is not fucking missing. Shooting of eight. That good. He hasn't missed yet! Jesus, fuck. Daddy's. You're not shooting at all. You don't have an angle from there? Maybe I don't have an angle from there? No, I didn't have an angle from there, apparently. God damn it! They, <laughs> these guys are not fucking missing at all! <laughs> stab that one. Just stab the fuck out of that one. Oh! Spoth it in the eyeball. I love that. Jinxie's not doing uh, so good anymore. Auto pistol, auto pistol, auto pistol, auto pistol, auto pistol. That guy with the fucking auto pistol has not fucking missed a goddamn shot. Well, there's the. I think he's dead now because there's the auto pistol on the fucking ground. That guy's trying to hit me with a beer bottle. Um, you go stab that guy. Oh, nice shot. Mayor, good luck. Go run down there and stab that guy. Jinxie. Jidge. Keep melee attacking. I don't know why Lord is not doing anything. Okay, uh, stabby stabby. Oh, okay, down. What does this guy got? He's got a shotgun. Oh, now he's getting stabbed. Uh, spoth it in the foot. Jinxie uh, went down like a bitch. Jid just not having a good time. You got fisted in the hand. Okay, go melee attack that guy. You, uh, Fitz, you go help melee attack that guy. Oh, fuck me. Mayor disarmed the grateful. Shot that guy in the arm. This guy's getting spothed pretty good.
Daddy, stay where you are. Got shot again, even in full cover. All right, now they're leaving. Son of a bitch. Yeah, no, my cover, even even in full cover, my we, we did not do well. Our cover did not help too much. Uh, I'm glad we survived, though. There is that. Took a fair amount of damage, but we survived. That guy's on fire. I think he set himself on fire. Lord, success. Success. you did all right. Success. Uh, quick sleeper, technophobe, squeamish. Uh, where is um, this curd? Beating out a fire. No. Tend to jinxy. Oh, I was about to say, what are they doing right now? They're just putting out more fires. Okay, okay, okay. Could have been worse. We need more sleeping bags. We need a lot more sleeping bags now. Organs. No, you you always say that, Fox, but you always forget that our organ our organ harvesting people pisses everyone off. Like when everybody's already on the verge of a mental break, giving them huge stacking debuffs is not generally a good idea. Oh, we got a lot of meds off of that. Uh, do I have... Oh, uh, you know what you really could use, Jinxie, right now? A little wake up. There you go. Now you're just hungry. Alright, uh... Ooh, 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 no, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Never eat that. Might as well try to steal their clothing right now. Okay, okay, okay. The Romans, what about slaves? Are, are, are you suggesting that or, or organ harvesting people was, was your first Roman theme then? What the fuck? I definitely plan on doing um, uh, uh, slaves in like a gladiatorial pit where I can have my slaves fight my my enemies for me, because that just sounds fun. Jinxie's got an infection. All right, tight, tight. Not, not too bad, all things considered. Could have been a lot worse. Now we need to dump, dump a bunch more corpses. Like, War Slaves? Uh, I mean, you can do that. I have done that in the past, but it was actually kind of boring. But, uh, I, I was thinking more just like, um, l l like House Slaves that we then have fight my, my prisoners for me. That's probably, that, that's more what I was thinking. I've done it where you just get a bunch of slaves and use them for combat. It's kind of boring, honestly. This guy's not even bleeding out. Got a nice, uh, got a nice uh, flintlock pistol there, though. You know what else we need? Uh, we need ammo. We don't have any primitive, primitive ammo. You know, our wooden bullets. We need to chop down a lot of trees. There we go. All is well. Everybody's fine. Oh, apparently we gave a bunch of cocktails to my uh, to my animals out here. Uh, just what's the male to female ratio? Male, female, male. Two males, one female. Let's get rid of a couple of these corpses.
giant pandas have showed up. Now, pandas are bears. So I would imagine pandas would be decent in combat, right? Right, 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 that, the. That's gotta be a thing. Lost some stew there. They seem to be leaving though. Um, no, oh, do we not have any meat available? Or we do, but well, maybe not enough. Uh, the, the, are they just gonna? They look like they're they're, they're beelining right now. And hypothermia. Fuck you. It's cold out, and you're wearing nothing but metal. Well, apparently, that's unfortunate. You should go inside and not lay down in the snow, you moron. Kind of Oh, I thought they were omnivores. I thought they meatified too. Vegetable seeds, plants, meals. Processed foods, <laughs> so they won't they won't eat meat meat, but they but they are known to be mildly alcoholic. I'm mad that I did extra uh, recreational drugs, so I'm gonna go smoke a cigar. This is fine. This is fine. It'd be great to have a, um... An indoor grow zone going. Maybe we should work on that next. Okay, 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 okay. Who's a constructor right now that's competent? Uh, Jidge, you're on a mental break. Never mind, of course. Fitz, you're outside. Let's have you throw together a couple more of these. And Ethereum, welcome. May have gotten that right. I need, I need to get some, like... Uh, oh, do we not have plain... I thought we had a fuck ton of plain leather. Sold it. We've got, uh, blue fur. Build a couple more of those. Uh, fits, 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 fits. Let's do that. Please and thank you. Thank you. Like a lot of people are just sleeping on the floor. Also, fuck the winter here. <laughs> I still don't know how to make, uh, like, complex clothing. So, if I want to start making jackets or anything like that. Yeah, we have to stick to this stuff. I know how to make beds. We know how to make primitive beds, but that's it. So I guess we can do pelt co some pelt coats for people. Or kilts. Is anybody naked? Is anybody complain about nudity? It's gotta be a really shitty or uh, orgy, unfortunately. We need to make an orgy chamber. When, when is it expected? Uh, we're in the 15th, seven Romans want to hold a celebration as soon as, po as soon as possible is when they want it. Uh, I guess, I guess we could, um, this room isn't done, but we could, we, we, we could make use of it. Okay, let's, uh, so what we need to do is we need to come in here. Okay, it's not the altar of Islam. Okay, we need this thingy, I think it is. Yeah. So we got a bunch of different religions in here right now that we never properly got rid of. Uh, we need some some nice pews to use. And I need a lectern to work from. There we go. Gonna make tarps? Uh, no, I don't think so. 
sadly. Okay, okay. So we'll we'll try to get that that set up, but I mean like a lot of our people are pretty distracted right now. Cleaning up the base, fixing everything that broke. Uh, why is this one not getting... We need to choose an ingredient. Simple stew. Here we go. We're running out of jerky, too, but that's not a big deal. They're, all, they're also trying to... How much time do we have on this? 16 days, so that's not that bad. 16 days isn't that bad. And we just finished AC on it, uh, actually. Uh, Multi-split AC I don't think is necessary right now. We actually are good on that. So, septic tank's useful. I think we'll take the septic tank. Medical emergency on Jinxie. You should be okay. You'll be all right. Yep, nope, yeah, that tracks. This is gonna take a really long time to get over. Bring some meals in for you. Do I know how to make the little the little freestanding cooler? I don't think we do. Um, I think it was under for now. I don't. How'd I get him hooked on opium? Well, it started with putting opium inside of his body. That's, that, that, that's where it started. And then it was just doing that a lot over and over and over again. It was just, it just, just doing lots and lots of opium. He was in pain. I had opium. It seemed like a good idea at the time. You know, problem, solution. Uh, but it was problem, solution, bigger problem. You know, shit happens. Apparently these guys can't drink cocktails, so let's take the cocks out of there. Because they're starving. I think we need to go do some hunting, because we are kind of running a little low on food. Another construction project! Uh, but I'm already- we're, we're already trying to do my own construction and a construction project, so not right now. Hey, hyperventilator! Thanks for the redoodly. I think I picked up a gun to use there, too. Hello. Uh, yeah, we got a flintlock pistol that we can hand off to somebody. That will be useful. How cold is this hallway? 12? Okay, I think... I'm just gonna tell them to hold these doors open. So they can transit quicker. And I've got a couple days to try to get that uh, that whole area built up, and then we can we can host an orgy in there. Oh, we gotta get that wood brought in too. Oh, there's so much of it. All right, that that'll be fine. That'll be fine. We'll get it. We'll get it. All right. They okay. They're they're eating meat now, and we are getting ammo. We're finally getting ammo made up. Excellent, excellent. Okay, uh, Fitz, can you work on... Cannot work on it. Oh, are you the wrong... Oh, yeah, you're the wrong religion. Right, Fitz? Yeah. Oh, no! At least there's people here to help, but the Deodons are extraordinarily strong and extremely Doom! deadly thankfully there are some people nearby that can come help you and bitch. we'll just gonna run everybody out here and try to sit so, uh, save you because Deodons are extremely dangerous yeah, uh, almost took off a leg with one hit. Hmm. 
<sighs> Not even healed up from the last attack. All right, all right. It's a siege, and I have started moving my base into the mountain. It's not in there yet, but... Let's see. Uh, it's, uh, it's spring, so the temperature's going to start going up, unfortunately. And they've got fucking amazing parkas. These guys aren't going to starve out. Or freeze out, that is. Fuck me. Put an eye on Fitz here. Trying to get this thing like stun locked. <laughs> Lot, lots of attacks going in. Oh, fuck me. All right, here comes Mr. Maya. Jidge got hit uh, in the arm. Voldren got hit in the arm as well. But I mean, they're doing a good job just holding the thing back. And you know, nobody's, no, no, honestly, I was I was afraid Fitz would be dead at this point already. We do have Mayor coming in to help. Uh, what we'll do as soon as Mayor gets there, we'll have one of the who's ever the most injured pull away. All right, his movements down, manipulations down. Voldren will have to probably have to pull, or Fitz is the the one who's most in. Well, actually, they're all pretty in danger of losing something right now. Oh well, there goes Voldren. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Head. All right, you got to try to get out of there. Oop, fell down. Ah, oh, yeah, no, I knew it. I knew it. Wow, 15 months already. Thanks for all the great content. Oh god, who is that? Unrelenting silence. Thanks for the redoodly. All right, it's down. Mayor almost died from that too. It went right through the the armor on the torso twice. Oh no no, no that was that was the data hand. Hey, no, that was the other person. Uh okay, so finish off the data on. Start rescuing these people. Well, this is a huge problem. I have absolutely nothing capable of dealing with this problem. Nothing at all. They got napalm as well. And uh, we are still injured from the last raid and three people just went down from a Deodon attack. Four people. Four people just went down from a Deodon attack. And there's nothing, I have nothing. <laughs> I got one hunting rifle. Uh, yeah, um, the only thing I might be able to do is grab some gear and head into the mountain and hope for the best. How long before they attack? Uh, I don't know, honestly. It usually takes them quite a while to try to whittle you down before they head in. Also, Magnus is out, so call that another one. At least one of these is an artillery piece. That's pretty inaccurate. 
Why isn't this day at on hungry? I can give some one of my better shots the sniper the hunting rifle and try to and try to do some work there. Right, Jidge is the worst. I actually think right now it's worth using a little bit of the good stuff. That was a bad tack. Oh, fuck me. It would be it would be awesome if, if we could de detonate a napalm shell, but I think that's not going to be feasible. Bro. Oh. Nah, if they have any wet weapons that have decent range. Problem is, is that like you start shooting at one person and a bunch will come try to hit you. Right, Jidge. You didn't lose anything, but you got fucked up. A lot of meds. But I'm gonna need to try to get these people back on their feet ASAP. Alright, Fitz is the next one. You lost a leg. Fortunately, it hit me on the leg twice, and that's all it needed to, to destroy it. Oh, so I'm, I've got two people with missing legs. Bouldrin, you're the next. Okay, those were the worst. So we'll go back down to that. All right, here comes the napalm. I don't really own anything explosive. That's good. Alrighty. Attack the Daedon and hope it goes Manhunter. Uh, that's an option. It does have a high probability. Um, did I? I didn't get, I, I, I got some item. I don't think it was an animal pulser though, right? I do have an animal pulser. And there's a lot of angry deer around here. Where'd the Deodon go? Oh, he's close by too. Okay, okay. Um, make sure there's nobody outside. Oh, uh, my my guy's outside. Do it. Duct tape the, <laughs> the one-legged people together. Yeah, they just put an arm around each other. Do the three-legged race thing. All right, let's get the get my bear back inside, and then I'm gonna lock the door. All right, and um, if uh, somebody wants to come over here and activate the animal pulsar, I thought I had that. I knew I had uh, the the cornucopia, but I thought I had another item. I just didn't remember what it was. But it is an animal pulsar. I love that noise. Pew, pew. Oh. Attack of the deer. They're stunning their own guys. If anything, they're too effective. If anything, they're being too effective. Now I'm gonna have a lot of angry animals to worry about. But it, I, what I can do is just leave the doors locked and wait for them to, to pass out. So I'm gonna go, oh yeah, I locked the door. Got a couple elk coming up here, but I locked the door. If anything, I could just fight the elk just so I could have, I mean, I was planning on eating some elk, some meese. 
have actually done a great job. We want to just, uh, I mean, there's only, it's a couple elk over here. Oh, but the, uh, actually the sky eels, don't they electrocute you? Don't they, don't they have a paralyzing attack? Can't, th can't these things be nasty? Um, electricity based defense mechanism. Yeah. Well, it's probably not a good idea to fight those. How'd you aggro the raiders? Oh, I had an, uh, an animal pulser. So I, I'm letting the animals do it. Did they even, they didn't even touch the Deodon. So I think the plan here is going to be to wait for the animals to, to pass out. And just don't go outside. Yeah, that's my plan. Perfection, that's okay. We got work to do inside. This is fine. Lock the door just in case. Just in case someone has a mental break. I'm gonna, I'm gonna block the door with a bunch of stones. Move stuff away. Well, the, the plan was to retreat inside, the, move my stuff inside the mountain to protect it from the assault. We don't need to protect it from the assault. So no need to start moving stuff right now. We just keep working on our, um, our rooms. Oh, oh, oh. Where are they going? Is there, did a, a guy stood, ah, a guy stood up and he aggroed all of them. Some granite throwing shards. All right, all right, all right. We're okay, a little bit of infections here and there. Got an infected torso and an infected torso, it's fine. Just, just, just do our stuff. Just try to put the, try to put everything back together now. All we have to do is wait for the animals to go to sleep, and they, they should lose Manhunter. Yep. And then we'll, uh, then all we, we, we'll be well. I can go out there, collect the weapons, collect any frozen animal corpses, eat them. I'm going to give you some industrial and Jidge. I'm going to give you an industrial as well. Success. 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 Uh, Jidge fell down. <laughs> of course you did. Uh-oh. Oh, they're pretty good too. Hard worker and fast learning. You're going to die. Look, look, look at the aggro on them right now. They brought a musket with them. Oh, and down. Did you get electrocuted? Yeah. Attack. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Oh, they don't like the Romans either. <laughs> Fucker had a heart attack. Well, so much for him. It's fine. It's fine. Drill for oil, wake up production, or penicillin. Penicillin. Fine. Probably would have betrayed me. There's a high probability it was a, uh, what's it called? A mime. They call it a mime. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All is fine. Son of a bitch had a heart attack. 
Cause our deck could have just been good luck. Bad luck. He apparently, he apparently got over it on his, he just muscled his, well. all right, so Nelson just muscled his way past a heart attack. Oh, actually the electric shock caused it. That's interesting. Muscled his way through it and then went down. I'm to the raid. Uh, I, I had an animal pulser I used on it. Actually, I actually think the animals are calming down now. Yeah, none of them are manhunting anymore. So we're clear. Uh, are you rescuable? Yeah. I go out there and get them. They're not manhunting anymore. Okay, so, uh, Curd, go rescue. We're going to on forbid everything on the map. Uh, we'll, we'll claim and uninstall the mortar. A couple deer corpses I could get my hands on. There's another one. Might as well get those. Bunch of them bled out. Free food. Those are all sleeping. Free musket. Okay, okay. No storage. Uh, what? Corpses. Animal, no rotting. There we go. Okay, okay, everything's fine. Everything is fine. We we've had a we've had a couple issues. I I will I will admit, but everything is fine now. Why are we why are we cleaning out here? Because I claimed that is why. Uh, what I should go ahead and do is, uh, make an, actually make an area, um, and set up a cleaning zone. Keep the corridors cleaned. For now, all of this is expected, but that's it. That's fine. And then we actually need to assign them to clean the cleaning zone. There we go. Beautiful. And another infection, of course. Why would there not be more infections? I'm out of herbal, by the way. Got a lot of fucking infections. It's almost like an animal eating your body parts off while you're still alive and then being left to, to wallow in a swamp for a while is bad for you. Okay, all, 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 all is well. All is well. This is fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. Ah. <laughs> uh. Magnus, how are you doing? 23%. Oh, and there's no food in here because apparently they really want to focus on those, those, those drinks. So let's, let's, there you go. Have something to eat. All right, Jidge, where are you? All right, you're right there. Can I get uh, Richie? Keep trying to convert you. Makes a lot, Wait, where were you? Oh, son of a bitch! Fucking happen again! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, uh, it's on Mayor. Mayor, you can fight this guy by yourself. All right, there we go. Mayor's a, a melee combat specialist. You can take down a fucking deer in melee combat. Okay. I don't know what I, I just clicked off of that because I was trying to click off something else. I got to check the messages. Tobacco binge, okay. That's not the worst thing in the world. I've only got a couple days to try to host my orgy, too. God damn it! I'm, tr I'm trying here, guys. I need I need a Roman, J Jidge, or Voldrin. Neither of you are- none, none of my constructors are Romans. So I can't tell them to construct the- I- I get- can I start? Oh, fuck me. Uh... Magnus is the only Roman constructor I have. He's out of it. Son of a bitch. Well, they're, they're out there grabbing all the stuff. That's good. Don't want a, a moose to go bad. Fuck another. We might want to... I'm, I'm considering preemptively hunting down the Deodon. Did you just walk all the way the fuck out there to drink one goddamn beer? Long of the Monument. Ah, oh, I still got a lot of time on that. Oh, get off my ass, Randy. Got 12 days. Please not the face. Uh, fucking Grandy! Del said, "What are you doing?" You're, okay, they're all good. They're, what they're all trying to do is walk literally across the entire map to drink a beer. Forbid the beer, so these people stop trying to dr walk all the way across the map just for that. Uh. Okay, all right, all right, all right. How's your infection? Major, you should be laying down. Oh, we got a name. No well, hopefully Nelson doesn't die. I don't think he will, but we still need to name him. Toby. Toe beans. Tend to toe beans. It would be nice if we could get on our feet before the spring hits. That's what I want. Uh, okay, best cook. Austrian. Um, do me a favor and just butcher all this meat. At least get that processed. Do we not have anywhere to put the wood? No, we do. So, Mayor, why are you... Mayor, what, what is your what is your haul? Or no, you're doing crafting. Craft nine. Oh, because you refuse... I was like, why aren't you doing hauling tasks before doing that? It's because you refuse to do hauling tasks. That's why. We're running out of days to do the orgy.
And there goes an another mental break. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think we're just going to have to, 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 to bite the bullet here, throw down a ritual spot in the rec room, and say, begin the Imperial Orgy. It's not going to be very high quality, but I guess we'll see how it goes. No! Wait, what? What happened? It was completed! You were alone in the room! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Solo orgy. And apparently it was kind of boring. Minus one mood for six days. Uh, apparently that got me enough god ducats to reform my ID religion, though. Oh, god. Let's see, um, can I add another style on that would be, um, useful to a Roman theme? Is there a, a Romany theme -y one? Hmm. I'm looking through the list and I'm not seeing something that looks theme wise Romany. Steampunk? I, I don't, when I think Roman, I don't generally think steampunk. Yeah, hedonism is the one I was leaning towards, too. We did just have a, a, a really boring orgy, so. I, guess, I think that's the best choice. All right, where was it? Here it is. Hedonist. We'll take hedonist. Oh. Cancel that. Oh, fuck that. I didn't I I didn't know changing a style would mean you can't put on a meme. Okay, we need we definitely need to an, add on a meme. Okay, um well, we have we have Republic, maybe we add on something more interesting. Uh cannibal nudism tree connection tunneler would be very useful to us but not very thematic. Uh, let's see. Monastic, fire worshippers, vegan, nomad, scrappers, pacifist, blood court. We oh, okay, that changes the leader. Let's see. What does gladiator do? Uh, is that a, is that a meme? Is is there is there a gladiator meme? Let's see. I'm looking. There's Gladiator. Uh, true glory can only be achieved in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ranged weapons are for cowards, and using them is shameful. Unlocks melee specialist combat prowess melee. So it means they, they like to get in... It, it makes it so they like to get in up close and personal. So that's a good option. Romans were not necessarily known for their ranged weapons. They're known for their ranged siege weapons. But, you know, when you think of a legion, you don't think of the, the slinger, the auxiliaries. You don't think of your slingers and your archers. You think of your legionnaires. Uh, let's see. But let's, let's, let's look and then come back. Um, ba -ba -ba. City builders. Sounds applicable. Travel despised. Permanent bases desired. Um, okay, okay, a couple options. Let's 
couple couple good options. I think city builders is applicable. Definitely. Uh, Gladiator, definitely. But I, I, as much as I think that fits really right, nice right now, I think I'd like to wait a little while to take it. I'd like to maybe go for one that's a little more uh, high impact right now. I think we'll go for that right now. Does that unlock anything? No, it doesn't. That's okay, though. Yes, I'll continue with that. All right, so permanent base desired. Uh, magnificent city, more than 20 buildings, plus 20. Lots of beautiful buildings. Oh, okay, so the the better build, the more buildings you have, the happier they get. That's nice. What counts as a fucking building? Is it is it is it a room a building? I wonder how it um, signifies what's a building and what's not. I guess we'll figure it out. Travel to spies, so they get sad if they've been out there for a while. Oh man. Um, so that okay, okay, that's that that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Let's see. Do we want to change anything in here? Violence, of course, is acceptable. Uh, death, dumb labor, indifferent, illness, indifferent, skull, scarification, research, paste meals, marriage is name, physical love. I think it showed something about 25 times. Okay, I'll come back to it in a sec. Uh, may, may we get a little hedonistic? We can... Uh, maybe, maybe we start accepting uh, uh, slaves into the colony? That's the... I mean, that was a pretty big portion of the Roman economy for hundreds of years. Executions were um, were fair game too, so right now it's disapproved. So I'll switch it to acceptable. Executions, respected if guilty. That's fair. We'll turn it up a little bit at a time. Uh, no more rolls available. Buildings. I might change the pew to a pillow. I think that might be a little more applicable. Gladiator ritual. Uh, I didn't swear. Oh, is that a, that's a ritual. Drum part. Oh, I don't have, I can't yet. Hi, can, hi Dinah. I can't see the screen because your cat butt's in the way. Now, now you're, now it's in my eye. There it is. Requires pain is a virtue, cannibal, supremacist, or raider. So gladiator doesn't allow you to do gladiator duel. That means to do the gladiator duel, I'll have to pick one of these. Pain is a virtue, cannibal, supremacist, or raider. It's probably supremacist. So I can, ju just so I can get that. Yeah, hi, hi, cat. What's up? What's you doing? Is you booping? Here's a boop. There's a boop. Yeah, it's a happy cat. Just a happy, happy cat. Happy, happy, happy cat. Just a happy cat. Is it boop? Uh, so we changed that to a kneeling pillow. Dinah, I, I can't I can't see because your tiny little butt's in the way. Oh, and she's stretching. Uh, do we we should add on a relic? We should definitely add on a relic. I think every time we do a, um, uh, like an upgrade to our ID legend, we should add a relic on. Dinah is sitting right in front of the monitor where she loves to sit because if she's right in front of the monitor, I can't see the screen. That's why it's the best. Hi, how you doing? Could you get an actual orgy, orgy? Not, not just our, our lame faux orgies. I think I changed the number of ID legends, I, or ID legends, the number of memes on my ID legends to five or six, so shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's see, what would, what, what did we added on city builders, so something that applies to that, like, 
like a golden hammer or something. Dinah is really smushing her face onto the, the boom arm for my mic. Dinah, you're in the way. She's like, your stupid face is in the way. Yeah, yeah, who's a happy cat? Who's a happy cat? Oh, she's just getting a little, she's getting some face scritchums. Face scritchums. Hang on, hang on. We'll do some, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. She's usually hanging off just off a of camera. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there's her. Oh, noggin scritchums. Oh, there's a noggin scritchums. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually about halfway through a stream is when Dinah shows up and, and decides that she is just going to be in the way. But it's okay. You're very adorable. You're very adorable, so it's all right. We, we, we appreciate your presence here. There we go. Yeah. Scritchums. Yeah, she's purring a lot right now. Hi. I've only got one of the pets in here. So the, the normally I'm streaming with the, the, the bedroom door shut here. If I, if I had it open, I'd had all four pets in here. But we just got the one right now. We just got the one. I actually don't know where Binks is. I haven't seen him in a while today. Probably sleeping on Leah or something. Okay. Dinah, how about... Did you want some water? Okay, she probably wants some water. Yeah, she, she's going for the water glass. Hang on. Uh, I got to refill this water glass for Dinah, so I'll be right back. If you want, you can come say hi too. Come on up. All the way. Come on away. You want my help? Here, I'll get you by. Okay. Okay. Oh, bless you, Dinah. Okay, there's the other one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, my stream deck's not working. Hang on. There's a happy dog. There's the happy. We got an, I got a third one down here now, too. They're, they're all showing up. Hang on. Hang on. Yep, there. Okay, cat butt and dog face. There's a, there's a dog. There's a dog back there. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Well, we've got everybody. We got everybody. We got everybody. Yes, we do. We got. I had three pets on the screen at the same time. Patty, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. Okay. 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 There we go. Happy. Happy. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. He's a happy. Who's a happy puppy? Who's a happy puppy? Mwah. There we go. There we go. Now Theo, we switch. We got Theo down here now. Okay, well, we've got we we've had a distraction. I'm gonna need to get some treats to lure Penny out of the chair, but that's okay. But that's okay. I get you treats. You stay there. Cool. 
How you doing? Boop. Penny, you're upside down. You better need to be it upside down. Yeah, there we go. It's my good girl. It's my good girl. Look how tall she is. Look at that tall dog. Where's a tall dog? Okay, I got two more treats. One for each of you. But I'm going to need the chair back. Sound like a deal? Okay, Penny. Okay. I'm going to need you to get... No, this way. Hey, down. That's your paw. That's your paw. Oh. Okay, come here. Down. No, no, no. She just laid it down. No, you need to come down this way. Penny, I got a treat up. Yeah, here it is. Look at it. Look at that treat. Come here, Penny. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta come get it. You gotta come get it. It's so far away. Come on. Penny, come on. Tell me. Come on. Down. Come on. Penelope. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Theo thinks I'm talking to her, and now she's laying down, too. Come on, Penny. Come on. Ooh. Let's go. Come on. Down. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Good girl. Okay, this way. This way. Good job. Good dog. Good girl. Good girl. Make a girl. Good job. Good fight. Oh, that was all. We had a whole parcel of critters. We had a whole parcel of critters there, didn't we? Okay. Well, we had a minor distraction caused by pets. Uh, we were going to add a relic. Uh, we were going to add on a relic, uh, for, based on the meme we added, which was City Builder. So I think, uh, I think a hammer is in order. Uh, can I search? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Maybe a Zeus hammer. And, oh god. Cesara? Cesara Dolma. I'm going to go with that. Welcome. I think a Zeus hammer is um, appropriate. See the monitor in the picture? Oh, yeah, I, that, that's, that's fine. doesn't matter. It's just a little reflection. Uh, ju ju uh, yeah, there we go. Ju Jupiter's hammer. That that's, that's apropos. I like that. Um, yeah, I think that, I think we're good. I think, I think we are good here. Our supreme leader. Uh, we'll just go with Jupiter. We'll just name it. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just call our, our god Jupiter. Getting get a little bit more Romany in here. There we go. Perfect. Oh, no. Did that... Oh, fuck me. I hate it that it does that. It changed my rituals when I did that. I fucking hate that it does that. I hate that it does that. Oh. Definitely okay to demo that. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I mean, it, it kept second Triumvir and third Triumvir, but it changed Pontifex Magnus, um, Caesar, and the name of my um, social festival. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna... I, I don't feel like going back and redoing the whole thing, so we'll just... Can, can I just dev mode that? Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, uh, development mode, how do you dev mode, can you dev mode a thingy in here, dev mode, edit mode, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll just change that now. Okay. Caesar. We'll just change that back. That's... I fucking hate that it does that. Oops. No, that's right. Is it... Wait. Yeah, that's right, right? Kaiser. Servant of Jupiter is Pontifex Maximus. This was the... It saved the day. Imperial... Uh... We'll go with Orgy of Bacchus. Spelled, is that how you spell Bacchus? How do you spell Bacchus? Come on, phone. B-A-C-C-H-U-S. Yes. Orgy of Bacchus. There we go. Royal eulogy is fine. All right. Uh, and now we'll just turn that off. That's fine. Oh, it changed... Fuck me. It changed the name of my relic, too. Twelve tables. And the name... <laughs> oh, God. How fucking stupid. Go. All right, I think we're okay now. All right, turn that off. Turn that off. Okay, we're okay now. We're fine, we're fine. Everything's fine. Why do, why do I use words? Why do I talk? You're fine, Toby. <laughs> you just got the shit kicked out of you by a deer and some sort of weird sky eel. You're fine. Okay, okay, okay. We still got 11 days on it. We haven't made a lot of progress in the last couple hours of play because I keep getting shit on by Randy over and over and over. Oh, God. This is fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Got a, f a fair bit of meat stored up in here now. That's good. Oh, uh, we got a uh, moose there to eat. I still should... I, I'm still thinking about killing that Deodon. Wow. We need more oh. opium. I was like, where's the text-to-speech? There it is. Well, I got, well, the, the opium is, is locked behind a wall like the cask of Amontillado. It's not coming out anytime soon. Where is Austrian? Oh, I was say, why are you not cooking? Uh, I think I also am going to need to go into Austrian's, I think it's Hall. And uh, find the the soup the soup one to make sure you're taking care of soup. It's bring I think it's bring ingredient, or it might be it might, it might be a, a separate one for soup. Uh, let's see here. Caravans carry to bio sculptor strip corpses. Empty autoclave fill autoclave. Do burn unload washing. Take beer out of fermenting barrels. Insert genome. Fill plug. Empty vending machine. Stuff things in inventory and haul. Deliver resources. Uh, maybe it's not a haul. Thought it was an. I thought it was. I, I thought the soup was under haul. I don't think it's under cook. Cook meals at ancient cooking station. Brew liquors. No, it's not. Huh. I could have sworn there was a specific soup one in here. Well, uh, that's okay. Not a big deal. So 
I'm wa waiting for someone to try to fill this one. Nothing. Okay, finish that meal. Bring this one in. There we go. And, okay, these meals are apparently bad. So, can I, can I bash meals? No, I can't. Um, how do I prevent them from eating these? I just forbid them from now? So we know those are tainted. Because Lord ate one and it, uh, and it made him sick. So those, we, we could just, I guess we just leave them to rot and they'll go away eventually. That's, that's, that's fine. Um, Curd, can you... Wait, no, it's Richie and Jidge. Try, trying to make sure we, we stay on top of this. But we're really not. It was down to 54. Now, god damn it, Jidge, you fucking suck. I'm gonna drop them outside for... Uh, well, you know, my... my they'll, they'll go bad in a few days there alone. We just leave them. Problems fixed. Other than Lord having eaten one already, unfortunately. Okay, okay. We're almost done with this blueprint, too. Alright, alright, alright. Oh my god. We are definitely going to need to use the Psychic Cornucopia this year. Oh. Give the bad meals to the big pig outside to weaken him. That's not a bad idea. The Deodon out here? Where the fuck did he go? There he is. <laughs> Give him poison, poison him. So theoretically, I could like... Hello there. Oh, why did you do that? Just merged him into another stack. Instead of bringing him out here. Good news, everyone! Didn't set as priority. I did. Priority critical. Oh well. Well, they're in there now. I guess we'll just eat through them. <laughs> Alright, that one was good. <laughs> there was two there before. There was three there before, I think. Uh, I got a inspired cooking. Is yours? No, no, no. Mine's set to normal. Should have locked the door. Well, it, it they shouldn't have done that in the first place. The priority rules means you fill the one that's the highest priority first. There's no reason for them to have done that. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and tope. Oh no! Don't eat the food for the animals, you fuck. That was animal stew. Should eat and should have Toby eat them all. Toby had ate them all. That would have been fine. All right, how we doing? Done? Almost? Okay, we can tell him to put the doors in now. That's all that's left to be done. And then they can stop worrying about that. Um, I'm gonna tell them to not bother turning this into a ritual chamber. Because we were just gonna have it- We were just gonna make it the ritual chamber for the orgy, but the orgy's- The orgy got soloed. So... At least it's, and it all, also, it is spring now, so we will be able to get some planting done. And what we're going to do is we're going to plant everything we can. Then we're going to use the psychic cornucopia to get a boon of food. And then hopefully we'll get some more, um, some more, uh, a second whole run of crops in this season. How's Magnus doing? Oh, this is taking a while. 34%. That's a shame. Oh, Toby got one of the bad ones. Ooh, 
Ooh, we got packaged survival meals now. Uh, you know what that means? We could just shrink this. Stole those. Make sure we just put the packaged survival meals there. Okay, 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 okay. Well, for the first time in the last, like, 90 minutes of playtime, nothing's exploding, nobody's bleeding, and we're actually making progress on tasks. That's good. So, I, I think what we'll do next is um, start moving uh I'll, I'll make this my barracks so what i'll do is i'll start moving these down uh, i don't think i have access to any good furniture yet right no no not yet so we'll just start moving them we, we want people to be living in the mountain as much as possible right now because for it's just safer it is just safer. Ooh, that's going to be in the way. So we'll just uh, reinstall this um, right there then. So we'll have a rec room down there. We'll have a barracks down there. I think getting the, um, uh, the food down there. So kitchen, butcher, fridge, and dining room should be the next thing. I think that's the next thing on the list of things. Basically try to start living in this area as best as possible. Yeah, I know they're wet. No, 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 no. You got food. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't, uh, why are you eating the animal's food? You guys are idiots. You jackasses and idiots. Eating the animal's food. <laughs> Before the food that, that I left over here for you. This food's closer. Jerk asses. Alright. Monument complete. Pods have arrived. Huzzah. Alright, I've got a psychic sensitizer and a um, psychic... That's a foil hat. Or no, it's an Eltex skull cap. So that increases psychic sensitivity as well. No, So nothing to do with that right now. So we'll hold it for later. Uh, I'm running out of room in here too. Uh... Here, we'll we'll car carve out some more room over here to store to store the shit that I do that doesn't need to be in here. So I got a lot of blocks and steel in there right now. All right, all right. This is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Just go down the list and start bringing them back here. Get people where they're supposed to be. This will be a better room. Hopefully we don't have any bugs spawn back here anytime soon. That would be unfortunate. But, you know, it's always a possibility. We'll just go ahead and uh, reinstall this one over there. Beautiful. Getting the walls. How, how does the room look? It is a very impressive barracks, I'll take it. So we actually have a couple halfway decent rooms. Very impressive dining room, rec room. I don't think they count this. I think that's because it's a barracks, so I think very impressive barracks is neutral. It's just, it's more not a negative. And they're, they're mad that we don't have any slaves because we did tell them that that was something that they like being Roman. So we might need to try to grab some of those in the near future. So I see we're eating squirrel meat now. But again, as soon as the sun goes up, or the, the temperature goes up, we'll start planting again. How many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 12 people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's enough, that, that's enough room in there to get everybody into the thingy. So we'll make that one medical. 
So Jinxie gets kicked out. Oh god, do you have food poisoning and- oh no, just diarrhea. Okay, I thought they had food poisoning and diarrhea. Completed construction of the monument. Magnus is prison. Well, I got I got 12 right now to worry about. 12 beds that need to be filled. Magnus isn't getting out of prison anytime soon. Still at only 39% opium withdrawal. Those only have a couple hours left on them. This could be expanded again. We can uh, do that as well. There we go. We'll be able to find. Yeah, we, tr we 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 try to just opium through the problem. No, that didn't that didn't work out well. That was bad. That was bad. Magnus got to the point where he was doing literally nothing except being uh, ODing on opium twenty four seven, which is which is generally not where you want to be in life. And hey, we got a complete room. Huzzah! There was much rejoicing. All right. Um, next thing is gonna be. Food and food related things. So what we're going to do is mine out another room right here. Like that. And that's going to be my dining area. Speak for us. I am speaking for myself. I was, that was Magnus. The, the character named after me is the opium addict. I was quite literally speaking for myself. Is this electric? Yes. And it's bronze. Bronze electric butcher tape. I love the idea of like a like, like a a classical antikytheria mechanism steampunk bronze butcher table. <laughs> what is I was like, what the fuck is this? It's uh it's for condiments, but we don't have anything we can make condiments into right now. There's the lectern we uninstalled. Yes, we want them to live back here in these nice, warm, nice, warm, nice rooms. Uh, we could use some more lights, but we're going to need to start smoothing out again. Oh, fuck you. So much goddamn barf all over the place. Everybody's always fucking barfing. Careful with that. Yeah, I, uh, considering the fact that I almost destroyed a colony with ketchup. Yeah. Now I know. Also, two thirds of the way through spring, and uh, still too, still frozen outside. Yeah. If we can get um, food. Food and food accessories, basically, transferred to back into that area. Uh, it would cut down on the amount of travel a lot. Because they're, you know, they're they're going back and forth a lot right now. But we could fix that by just getting some more rooms finished. And, oh god, the last social fight cost a goddamn leg. Uh, cost a toe. Not a leg, but a toe. And we're out of herbal meds, so... I guess kind words will have to do. The hippie colony, then the turtle colony, then the, the, the uh, stab the reactor colony, Romanish colony, frosted flake mountain, and now this. Well, I mean, I do. I always do themed colonies. It's more fun that way. I have more fun if I if I have a, a like a pre-generated theme I'm going for. And remember, all colonies die. I never, I never play the game to win. I play the game to tell an interesting story. This is not a game. Hey, the snow's melting. The temp went up. It's not a game you ever play to win. And we got another, uh, oh no, I thought that was a Diplodocus. It's not a Diplodocus. It's a Dilophosaurus. That is not the same thing. All right, all these need to get brought in. Uh, there's a lot of wood out on the map right now, too. That needs to be brought in. Diplodocus and Dilophosaurus, not the same thing. Uh, running out of room to put the weapons. 
So what I'll do is I'll expand this over, then shrink it down, and then expand this one over as well. All right. Okay, I think we actually will get to plant soon. We're <laughs> forgot about the one where I was shelled for three years straight. That was an interesting one. That one was very, very much showed off the benefits of living inside a mountain. If you, not only was I shelled for, for several, you know, I don't know if it was three straight years, but it was a long time. Uh, it may have been. I don't remember exactly how long it was. But it was being shelled by three different things as well. It was two sieges and a auto mortar. Fragility of limbs. Yeah, yeah, limbs... Limbs tend to fall off a lot. But I mean, being a RimWorld player, you you learn to live with the fact that eventually people will suffer from horrible bodily degradation. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you got limbs now, but not forever. Oh, um, do I have a positive for, for the number of buildings? No, I don't see that. Okay. Oh, uh, convert, so we gotta try that on Jidge, wake up. Gotta keep trying, gotta keep rem remembering, remembering. Oh, is it on the top? Did I have enough to, for, to go to the, all the way to the top? Sanguine. Man oh, okay, uh, oh, wasn't Roman, Magnificent City. City is magnificent. Find example uh, of what humanity can achieve. There we go. Rural showcases the horror of human fragility before the advent of modern medicine. True. Especially like, like right now, we don't. E I don't even know what an, what an eye patch or a peg leg is. So I got two people walking around with no legs. Well, with one leg, they are missing a leg. Beautiful city. I, they, I, the, 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 yeah, walking, exactly. Hobbling, hobbling around. Poor guys. Really wish we had Mag. Magnus is an excellent builder and an ex excellent miner, so helps out a lot. But yeah, no. Well, a, at least the tolerance went from massive to large. That's a step in the right direction. Also, we're getting low on food. We plant, and we're not planting yet. Unfortunately. Daddy does have a pickaxe. All right, just keep going, guys. Keep, 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 keep working. Uh, where are my planters? That's Bakken. Is cutting stone from chunks. So yeah, can't. Oh wait, did I tell them not to? Are you not entertained? Nobody jobs. No, it's not normal. Okay. And Mr. Schmink, welcome, welcome. Have been shunned for their disfigurement. Oh God, I still remember that. Oh no, no, there they go. Uh, I still remember that time I had someone who was so ugly it almost led to the downfall of my colony. If anybody ever shows up to your colony and says staggeringly ugly, kick them the fuck out. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. That's all potato. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say no more poppies. Uh, that yeah, poppies were problem. Um, so what we are going to do is just tell them to put in the, the corn. Everybody loves corn. Because we're going to, like, auto could finish all of this. Um, I'm going to put in another zone. That's all shit land. So, well, that's, that's, no, that's fine. And because that, oh, I want more corn. And I'll put in another one down here. Uh, and that's going to be hay. 
And I've got really good planters, so they should be able to get through this actually pretty quickly. It's just cold out. <laughs> It's a nicer area for them to sleep, at least. I'll give them that. Ever ever so slight progress. Oh, I forgot that we we uh, we put on drilling for oil. In all fairness, Romans were aware of, um, of, of crude oil and did, ha did have very minor uses for it. I doubt we'll be any doing any actual drilling for oil anytime soon, though. We're probably not going to be doing that. All right, we'll get doors on there. Uh, these should be shut because it's the barracks. There we go. See you, that? Thanks for coming by. Plenty of ammo now. That's good to see. Uh, we could also, I mean, there are some firearms we could hand out again, too. Like, we could start uh, handing out... We, we got a flintlock right there. That's... Oh, it's really low quality. Uh, there's a normal quality one, though. Let's see. Jidge. Oh, God. Something's happening. Capybara sitting. Okay. No, that's fair. Uh, uh, May Mayor, you, you can come over here and you could uh, equip a flintlock. I love the idea of a sin someone in centurion armor with a bandolier of flintlocks. All right, what do we got here? Paralytic Abasia. Oh, that's easy to deal with. Oh, Thanks nine. Thanks for all the fun, Magnupog. Nine capybaras I'd have to hand feed for 19 days. Also, hey, Kubik, how you doing? Roman bear caliber with guns. Poor quality flint lock probably gives you splinters from the stock. I can see that. I've got I've got a really low quality um Dehendra rifle over here that uh when I when I refurbished it I put on many layers of uh of of like Renaissance wax, uh, microcrystalline wax to kind of smooth it out a little bit because it was quite um rough. <laughs> Oh, God. Um, so, yeah, no, taking care of nine capybaras for 19 days sounds like a terrible use of my time. But those rewards are really good. I'll try. So we're going to need more of these. One, two, three, four. I'm going to need a lot more of these. Okay. Okay, and Br Br everybody go grab a go grab a giant rodent. What happened to this otter? Oh, it got an inf it got an infection. Just look at it around for uh, free meat. Just look for blood and zoom in. <laughs> Mega Wolverine out there, several meese. Some caribou up here. Worth hunting, probably. Alright. Well, at least they're bringing them in. This is a mod that immediately allows dead animals after they die outside. Oh, that's that's good. Oh, are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> Well, we failed that mission. There's nobody nearby. No! Immediately ate one. Immediately. Like, we were halfway through bringing them in. Uh, well, I guess we just eat these ones now. Well, so much for that quest. 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 Might as well eat them.
Might as well. <laughs> At least you tried, yeah. Bring him in. Well, we got a lot of our crops planted that day. They moved on to the corn already. Well, hell. And emphasize the deliciousness of their pets. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry all your pets died. At least they tasted good. Drop beacon inside an open section of the base. Uh, I don't have op I don't think I have the option to build a drop beacon yet. I don't know if we've gotten access to that. We got a ship landing beacon. Is that the same one? wrong with the bathtub um nothing well free food it, it, at least the meat is delicious step in the right direction we need we needed food anyway. <laughs> we needed food. Great progress on the planting already. I knew that would take a while because that's a lot of planting to do, but they're making good progress. Mayor, uh, actually, Mayor, you could come over here and grab that hatchet as a sidearm. That'll help. Got my French teeth kicked in by Burgundy. <laughs> Figured I'd come back to see Ben relax or whatever it is. Oh, uh, well, no, we've had a, a fair bit of uh, chaos, but nobody's died, thankfully. A lot of raids, um, a couple problems with uh, infections. Magnus is locked away because of his opium addiction. Yes, I am playing with the ammo mod. Uh, Yeo's combat, I, I've got on. So that was, so we do have to be concerned about ammo consumption. All right, how we doing? Okay, getting there. Lots and lots of progress. Cancel that. Cancel that. I think we need one more day of planting. Tame the boulder mitt. Um, I don't need stone chunks. We live in a mountain. I've already got... 6,000 stone blocks sitting around. <laughs> It is a perfectly valid strategy if you're on a map where blocks are rare. You learned something at EU4. What'd you, what'd you learn, Ohio? How are you finding Yeo's combat? Tried it for the animation once and didn't find any, uh, didn't try any of the other features. That's exactly what I'm doing. I, I'm using it mostly for the ammunition feature. That's what I'm most interested in. 24 hives. Okay, those are some crazy rewards. Are you not entertained? I don't think I could take 24 hives. And Kak Perstanic? Kak? Kak Perstanic? Maybe? Uh, Locust, Masterwork Locust Armor, Laser Rifle, Cordy Implant, Luciferium. Tried for the animations once, but... Oh, animations, I'm sorry. Oh, I do get 10 mercenary gunners, though. That's true. I didn't see that. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm i using it for the ammo more than anything else. The animations are cute. Them, like, flipping their weapons around. Uh, I'm using it for the, the ammo, mostly. Uh, I didn't notice that there were 10 mercenary gunners. That That's good. It's hard to say no to a bitchin' set of armor. Laser rifle we would have issue keeping ammo with. Problem is where the hives will spawn. It doesn't really matter where they'll spawn. 
As long as there's a choke point. I, I put, I got choke points all over. I, I, I think with the 10 mercenary gunners, as long as a couple of them have armor, we'll be okay. Let's um, get the crew together. As long as it's not inside Magnus's house. None of them really have armor. So I might have to meat shield them. Um, did the pod... No, I have to win first. Roman with a plasma sword and a jetpack. Well, a Roman with a, pla with a plasma sword and a jetpack is just Warhammer. It, that's it. That's, we're we're, we're just, then we're just playing 40k, and I'm okay with that. All the way in the back. Okay, that's fine. There, we do this. We have them all stand right there. That's fine. And then all I need to do to make this kind of perfect for myself... Kind of mine this out. Mayor. You, you, would, you would go right here. Hold that door open. Uh, I need... Who's a, who's a miner? Voldrin. Mine that out. Because I don't fucking care about these guys. They could, they could all get... They could all get chewed on. Alright. Jidge. Not super good in combat. Toby, you got a gun. Do you know how to use it? You do. Daddy's still got a shotgun on him. Austrian back over here. Here. Um, oh, Austrian, actually, if you want to go stand right there. Voldrin, if you could not do that. You can go right there. Jinxie. Oh, they're they're not aggroing. All right, we need to get close. They're, yeah, they're way too far away. We need to aggro them and bring bring the whole crew down. There we go. That's what we wanted. There we go. Here. And mine that out as well. Where's Vold where'd Voldrin go? Mine that. I don't want to mine that one out because then we'll lose the light, and I want the light on there right now. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. I wanted them some to go one way and some to go the other. They're gonna fuck this place up, unfortunately. We're probably gonna have to redo some walls, but uh, maybe not. Uh, Depend on. We didn't even aggro all of them. We'll see how it goes. Um, Voldrin, does anybody else have a gun on them? Does anybody else know how to use a gun? Well, I guess Voldrin, um, where did that, uh, flintlock get off to? I think it might be standing under somebody. I think it might be under somebody. There's the poor quality one. Equip hunting rifle. Double action revolver. Well, there's a musket right there. War merchant has showed up.
This is actually working out pretty well. Start. We didn't aggro them all at once. Uh, they did. They didn't wreck some of my shit, but that's okay. Orgy room is a little juicy now, unfortunately. But everybody's doing just fine. These guys are doing fine. My guys are doing fine. Doors being held fine. A lot of damage being done to the buggos. A lot of buggos down. Colin is down, but it's not one of mine, so I don't care. As long as mayor holds, mayor's fine. You're fine. You got hit in the leg a little bit, but not too bad. It bugs me that the bugs can stack up like that a little. It's not too bad. Um, are some of these guys out of ammo? You guys didn't bring more ammo. They're 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 all out of ammo. They didn't. Br they only brought one clip. Uh, you idiots. Maybe put the builders in the back line to smash the bugs and sneak through. Well, nobody's sneaking through. The ones that are dying over here are because they're stacked up too higher. Too, stacked up too high. Well, I guess the only thing they could do is switch to punching. Yeah. Some of them don't even have melee weapons. Right, run in there. I'm all scared to sneak through. Well, so sometimes they do, but none of them have done that yet. So, we're fine. How much ammo is in a pawn? Click on a pawn. And uh, if they have a gun, show right there. If you're using Yayos. So, I didn't anticipate that. I didn't think about that. The fact that these guys are out of... I thought they would just shoot forever, but no. They're out of ammo and don't have melee weapons. Voldrin... Needs to go uh, reload as well. Toby's got three shots left. 17. You got 11. Jinxie's got five. You're going to go down soon. We're making our way through this, though. This ammo management is starting to be sort of annoying. Um, I don't mind the ammo management. I just got to figure out. Uh, I, I have to set them to carry extra ammo on their person for my, for my people. I know there's a way to do that. I just can't remember. It's bio-coded. So I can't, they can't, nobody can use it. Mayor's doing it. Perturbed is the only one trying to really taking damage. The rest of them are perfectly fine. These guys are more of a distraction of any than anything right now. You, yeah, you are out of ammo. So all these guys can do is punch. Jinxie, reload. We're actually doing pretty good. There's a, there's a lot of injured ones. We're okay. Drug assign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was something wrong with it. The first stream we did, I can't remember what it was, what the issue was. But yeah, that's 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 how do. All right, we're 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 we're, we're, we're mulching through them pretty well now. We're doing good. Oh, perturb went down. The rescue. Daddy, uh, are you out? That's industrial. Oh, uh, the, the bear took the place, though. That's that's pretty cool. Go here. The bear is just like, I got this. Holding the line. Mayor's doing a great freaking job. These guys kind of sucked ass. Unfortunately.
Oh, he's down. We're just about through this now. And I have no idea which uh, which mod does this rum mod. I'm honestly, I have no idea. I would imagine it would be like mint menus or something like that. Maybe would be a, a viable a viable possibility. You guys are gonna come down here and start working through these. guys are done. Austria is just sitting there murdering a pile of them. Think that, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Rumbottom. I just, I, I, I have so many mods on, I don't know which one is which. Hey, guys. Switch to melee, because that's what you're good at. And I mean, by good at, I mean that's the only thing you're capable of doing. Oh, these guys. Oh, right, these guys. I could actually trade. That's a giant capybara, basically. Um, Warden. Uh, Richie, do me a favor. Jump out of the tub and go talk to these guys. Oh, free timber wolf. All right. Um... Let's see. I can sell them the insect jelly. If it comes down to that, I will buy up the herbal meds because I don't have any. Let's see. Um, they are selling. They are selling primitive ammo. <laughs> don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. A lot of this stuff is not useful. Sky steel we can burn down or smelt down. That is. Bio-coded. All the bio code. Oh, this is all shit. Bio-coded, bio-coded, bio, -coded, bio -co It's all their bio-coded stuff. Poor quality, poor quality. Makeshift. Granite throwing shards. Bio-coded. Bio Some of this stuff is worth keeping, I think. Uh, infinite Alaska. There we go. Uh, cloth flop hat. Get rid of it. Let's see, poor quality. Uh, I don't know how to make any of this stuff myself yet, so I don't want to get rid of too much of it. Okay, I guess that's fine for now. All right. Daddy went catatonic. I don't care about any of these people. My people are getting tended to. That's what's important. Curd. Oh, you're tending to my bear. As long as Austrian's not bleeding out badly. All right, cool. There's the success. All right, get that stuff hauled. We have a set of locust armor now. I don't know who to give that to. Probably Mayor, because May. Well, Mayor's got that Centurion armor, which is just so cool. All right, success. we, got, we grabbed success. some meds. I forgot success. about that. We actually have a little bit of meds. Beautiful. Uh, every, everybody's tended. I don't care. These guys I, I don't have to care about, so. We just need to clean up after this big mess now. Let's make sure, uh, we're not eating the jelly. I like to keep the jelly around for emergencies, basically. Uh, and 
And let's also make sure we're not cooking with insect meat, because I may have told them to do that. Meat. Uh, no. Okay, it's off. There we go. Okay. Roman Roombas. Yeah, Roomba would be nice. Roomba would be delightful, Kibble. Kibble would be nice, too. I don't have any veg available at the moment. And uh, I don't know if we're done planting to use the psychic cornucopia. And lot blah, 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 blah. Can't word mouth thing. Lycops, thanks for coming by. Yeah, they're almost done, but not completely. Curd, you're actually, like, right now, if there's anybody who is in need of a, um, uh, of some insect jelly, it's you. Because that's wreck and food. I think I'm out of wake up. I only had a little bit. Tantrum. Yep. These people are in bad moods now because everything's hideous and that was a long fight. Uh, Jidge. Rich, Richie, you need to convert Jidge again. I like how Jidge just ate a meal off the floor. Like, a t <laughs> while, while in the tub. All right, all right, all right, this is fine. You're catatonic. Oh, you're missing a nose? I lost a nose. Sell the opium, they won't buy it. Okay, it's gonna take a little while. Perturbed, you need to be fed. Mayor, can you do it? No, okay, I said I need a doctor to actually do it. Um, feed. There we are. A lot of mental breaks. That's to be expected. Please, no. Oh, it's just a hunt. Samurai helmet? That sounds pretty cool. We'll try to get the uh, the bugs processed before they rot so we can take the, the insect meat and turn it into kibble later. But I don't know if we'll have time for that. We lost a section of wall there, but that's it. This room was untouched, thankfully. Locust armor go. Uh, it should be sitting in my inventory somewhere. I told them I told them to haul it, so they probably dropped it somewhere. Here, we'll just um Uh it's not showing up. Did somebody somebody may have put it on then? Yeah, Voldrin put it on. Vol Voldrin could be a steward of it for now, that's fine. Not a good combatant, we'll, but I'm not concerned. Oh, okay. Get the place. So that's a lot of that's a lot of juice on the floor. That's a lot of goop. Oh, I, I oh god. It, oh, we're like super low on food right now. These are almost done, so that's twenty more meals. And my cook is having a mental break. We can suck down some some insect jelly for now. All right, they're putting the base back together, though. I love Richie's half-hearted attempt at cleaning. All right, and we do have our people outside um, working on the fields again, which is what I need them to do that quick, like ASAP. That's what I need them to finish. All right, goop has been gooped. Meals. Be done in a few hours, so don't complain. Oh god damn it again! Okay, it's not as bad this time though. Fuck me, stupid Deodots. I hate them. I hate them. Alright, we got a bunch of people with, with ranged weapons out there this time. Oh Kurt, what the fuck are you doing? Just stopped there, didn't you? Uh, but they're not shooting it. Oh, 
Oh, it's like an old one, though. <laughs> it's got asthma and hearing loss. Oh, God. Mayor, you got this. Maybe I'll get lucky and it'll bite his ear off. So he's holding out real well. Want to send the bear in? Oh no, it didn't even hit us. Okay. Woo! Okay, M more more Deodon food at least. That thing's got a lot of meat on its bones, so. Oh, ba Bakken showed up. I was like, I got it. All right, day, day of Don it. Here, and uh, drop it on the floor. Just drop things on the floor when you're done. I was just, all right, trying to mulch through as much stuff as he can. Pine tree next to the animal. <laughs> yeah, no, it just kind of randomly grew there. Oh, uh, do we? Do you lose anima grass over time? Because it was at 19 and a half last time I looked, and now it's at 14. I didn't think it went away with time. I guess it does. Oh, yeah, there's the Deodon meat. All right, uh, remove that. Uh, I don't think it, I don't think it burns. I don't think the Anima Grass can burn. All right, uh, get rid of that. Don't need it anymore. Magnus is probably hungry. Not sure. No, I don't think, an I don't think it burns or animals can, can, uh, eat it. I don't, not to my knowledge, at least. And uh, let me look it up real quick. Anima grass. Let's see what the wiki says. Uh, do, 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 do. It has a lifespan. There you go. That's the problem. It has a straight up lifespan. So it will die with time. Uh, do, 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 do. I want to see if it is, if there's any information on here about, um, getting eaten, though. It doesn't specify. There's some information on the tree. Uh, oh, animal grass will not be consumed by grazing animals, but it is flammable. So it will die with time, and it can burn so those but it won't be eaten but that that's specifically the grass not the tree the tree i'm pretty sure can get eaten by alpha beavers and thrombos mm. that's a dead or alive not doing that we're, we're not we're not in a position to be doing other work for people and wow, you are drunk. Consumed a cocktail. Okay. Centurion armor head off on the pawns. I don't know what it actually does, honestly. Is anybody close enough to get it right now? I think you have to be within sight, right? Oh, it's pain shock, pain shock threshold if you're adjacent. There you go. That's actually pretty cool. Basically, if someone's in Centurion armor on the front line, the, everybody will hold better. Okay, that's not on my map, so I don't need to worry about it right now. It's okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. We already ate all 20 of those soups, unfortunately. But we have Deodon meat to chew on. Uh, how's the planting going? Making more progress. Still making progress. Still going through it. This is important. Getting do, Doing a, a big planting and using my um, Psychic Cornucopia is important, though. Because I have been struggling with any grown crops. Because of my short, short, short growing season. So I need shit. Okay, no, that wasn't a big deal. 
It was that was that was multiple things happening. I saw this pop up and I heard a noise and I was like, wait, what's going on? It was the eclipse and that popping at the same time. But we finished our research as well. Uh, well, we don't need meat smoking. Um, biofuel refining, I would not object to because that'll uh, give me access to explosives. The shame we lost a lot of anima grass. Oh, okay. The white tiger Gomi uh, destroyed that frigate that just landed. Bakken's gonna come down and do a little bit, and then I think we're just gonna use the psychic corticopia, even if this isn't a hundred at a hundred percent, because it's close. Hello, moose. Your meat looks delicious. Although they are still working through the night right now, so they're fine. I think we're going to get it. We're going to do it all. Yep, especially with extra people helping. Although, I don't love that this moose is sitting here. Possibly wants to eat my shit. Okay, you, here, activate circuit corticopia. This is like my favorite thing. A, it's a really cute noise, and B, watching all the crops just is cool. Okay. Also, uh, timber wolf meat. Now that brings it to ninety percent, so there's still a little bit left to grow, and I want to get the full crop, so I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let it grow. That brings everything to ninety. Let's see if we can get these corpses before they go bad. Nope, they're all turning. Uh, we got a lot of the bugs processed before they start going bad. But it's just, it's a lot of fucking work just moving. I, with a lot of people down and injured and uh, catatonic. Well, Daddy's not catatonic anymore, but Magnus is out. Daddy was catatonic. Multiple people injured. That hauling was just a lot of tasks. And frankly, it's just insect meat. It's not a big deal if we don't maximize our profits of that. We're going to have to get rid of the rest of these corpses because they're ugly. But again, there's still a lot of fucking shit to do. How, how's the little old Magnus? A little starving, but getting there. Shouldn't this be meals? Critical? There's a meal right there. Or that's a stew. Does a stew not count as a meal? No, it does. Um, I mean, I just wait for him to pass out and cram some food down his gullet. That's not a big deal. Or I could just go out in there and murder... Oh, of course they're on the opposite... The herds are always on the opposite side of the damn map. I, I need I need a good lar large quantity... Oh, there's another fucking Deodon. I don't trust it. I do not... I do not trust that stupid son of a bitch. Oh, I might preemptively murder that one. Although, we're finally getting the base is swept up. That's nice. Hey, Toby, how you doing? What's the issue? Lots of things. I'm watching Richie this time to try to make sure we're staying up on the conversion attempts. Because usually what happens is they get distracted and they go to waste. But now I'm watching it. As long as nothing explodes in the next minute. Have some insect food outside to attract animals. Uh, that doesn't really work that well. Most of the animals you want to attract are not the ones that are going to eat meat. Like you want, you, you would generally want to attract the animals that are not very dangerous and have a lot of meat on them. And that's like elk and caribou. They're not going to eat insect meat. I don't necessarily want to draw the predators towards me. Borzy meat. Uh, I don't think we have any of those on the map. And even then, still, if I wanted... Boars are relatively small, so they're not that great to hunt when there's things out there like elk and caribou. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, there's animal wargs on here, but those are too dangerous for me to touch. Ooh, uh, like, that's a free caribou, though. Well, most of a free caribou. Some of a free caribou. Eight, okay, it's the torso. It's just the torso. All of its legs and its head are gone. This is fine. <laughs> we're, we're making progress. We have, we just need to, uh, just need to keep going. Here, let's get these moved out. Hopefully you're not trying to destroy anything important. Oh no, that explodes, I think. I'm pretty sure that blows up. Richie's too far away. Can I, um, is there a warden nearby? No. Yeah, no, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I'll, I should probably make a hole for things that blow up. Here, let's, um, let's carve a little room out right here. Sorry, Toe Beans. We're gonna release ya, but... Can't let you blow up my inventory. God damn it. Second day of summer and this sh and this shit's still not growing at all. Fucking crap weather. All right, Magnus is down. Someone will walk in here and um, cram some food into his gullet. Yeah, there's there's my elk what caribou? Caribou torso. I'm just putting insect meat into Magnus apparently. A lot of it, oh my god. They're just eating raw insect meat now. That's not ideal. Uh I hate to, oh god, I hate to harvest stuff prematurely, especially when we just use the second corticopia on everything. The only other option is to go out and do a mass hunt, basically. Alright, I need you to come over here and at least get these people a caribou to munch on. There we go. All right, Magnus has food now. All righty, um, people with firearms. There's the Deodon. All right, yeah, here they are. They're all down here. Not touching the animal wargs. Spare. I do have a spare male yak, but I'd rather not get rid of them. Okay. Oh, they're going after the... That's not what I wanted them to do. They only hit it a couple times. Maybe I'll... Yeah, they hit it a ton and it's not going manhunting, so... Oh, now it is. Well, it's... It's... it's Heavily damaged and it's gonna go down soon. So a lot of food right there. Yeah, see, there we go. All right, guys, you got some food. All in that. There's two more. Thought there was another one. There's an otter. Thought there was another one that walked away. 
Uh, also, I want this. Fuck you, Toby. Ran right past him. It was a, it was all that was a very narrow hallway. That was a very narrow hallway you let him run past you. I mean all he had was a stick on him, so he barely did anything. That's a problem. That's a problem. These things are fast. Faster, significantly faster than a human. And we just, we, are, we were out on a hunt, so we used up all of our ammo. Oh no, you still have some ammo on you, that's good. So we can shoot it a couple times. As it comes around that corner there. And I'll try to run people out here to help, but this could be a tough fight. Fitz, you can try to get over here to help. Bakken, you're just going to have to shoot the thing. Here, combat command yourself. Man, that's fast. Oh, thank God. Please be a good hit. Uh, it was a leg hit. Okay, it's still faster than a human. Okay, okay, all right, two hits. All right, now we melee attack it. Ow, it bit me in the hand. Perturb, get in here. I don't think these guys are really that good at melee combat. Well, Bakken is. That's fine, okay, they bashed it in the noggin. All right, all right, no, no, it's down, it's down. All right, this is fine, this is fine. No, more more diarrhea, that's wonderful. Alright, the plants are at least grow it got warm enough for the plants to grow finally. Bakken, you're bleeding out of your hand, hand leg, torso, a lot of things. So why don't you come lay down? Curd, tend. Um you butcher. Yay, meat explosion. All right, cook, cook, cook some food, please. Cook some damn food. Stews are almost done. Magnus, how are you? Uh, you can move, that's good. Okay. This is fine. Toby got food poisoning from eating raw mega wolverine meat. Well, you couldn't have just waited for the cooked steak, so that's on you. I've got a Animal Ward's Razor Fang, which is a decent melee weapon now. And hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get a lot of the, the veg harvested a lot of it should be at a hundred percent as soon as it gets a little bit of growth time okay 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 this is this is fine this is fine everything's fine there's some food available now we got more soups coming to or stews we got some stews we're stewing all right go to bed and there we go. We got some veg. If you would like to, uh, are those, is that not done? There we go. Thank you. Okay. Get some more lights installed so we can see what the hell we're doing. 
Oh, come on! Arrived in gauntlet ships that are crashing on top of my colony. Oh, this is like the stupid OP kind of raid that completely wiped me out last time. Where are they crashing? Okay. Literally on my door and the guns fire. I mean, you this is OP. These crashed ships are OP. Also, it just destroyed a ton of my food that I just fucking grew. Um, and it this is there's probably gonna be a lot of explosions destroying the rest of it. This is fucking great. Um I have a mortar. But all I've got are a couple napalm shots. No, I got a few high explosives. There's the guys. Oh, they're gonna burn all my fucking crops. They are going to burn my crops. Because that's what they do when they can't get inside the base. They burn the crops. <sighs> this event is too powerful. I think it needs to give you a little warning before it hits, or there needs to be uh, a few seconds of lag time between when it hits and when it starts firing on you. Oh, fuck me. I don't even, like, like, I have no time to prepare for this. Yep. Ugh. Well, there goes all my food. It's gonna take a long time to get down to this area, but it's gonna burn all of this, probably. They've all got armor on, too. I can't even open the door and try to lure them in because I don't have any of my... I don't have half my people over here yet. I gotta try to I gotta try to do something though. Open the door and let them in. Yeah, yeah. There's two two good hits. Arm and a leg. <laughs> gotta try something. Gotta try to I gotta try to stop them from setting more fires. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, Bakken, right in the fucking torso. All right, schoolyard bully formation. Ah, uh, shooting 11, of course. Oh, it's burning. It's burning. And then the only thing I can do, this is gonna be extraordinarily damaging. The only way I can deal with this is going to be to bum rush it and just t try to take it to pieces. There's no minimum distance that I'm aware of. And I don't have the guns to sit around and sh the, the time or the weapons to sit around and shoot it. Oh, fuck me. EMP grenade stun it? I have no idea. Oh, come on! <laughs> Stupid fucker!
Gotta, gotta, gotta do enough damage. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Wonder why they crashed the ship directly to the base. That's how the event works. The, the, they all, this event is from one of the new, um, newer map mods, Vanilla Factions Expanded Pirates. This event always crashes them right into your base. So, so I know there's some in storage right now, but I don't have, I don't have the time to deal with it at the moment. I gotta deal with these people. Also, I don't know if I wanna waste charges when I have so few to begin with. How much uh, industrial space or ammo? Very few. Uh, well, there are some people running by right now, so maybe sidearm some of them just on the way past. I gotta, I gotta lock this guy down. Oh! Didn't think it would immediately... Oh, it's a charge cannon, too. That's that's wonderful. It's a charge cannon. Th 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 this event is... The fact that this event is this fucking crazy powerful. Oh! And I'm not hitting this guy, like, at all. Oh. Let's wait till late game. Oh, I never get to late game. Mayor's down, didn't, uh, okay, got stabbed in the neck with an uh, improvised weapon. Oh, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy right in his stupid face. Oh, everything's on fire. Well, there goes my bear. Oh, the bear's going straight for the ship. Oh, fuck me. Good luck, good luck. Oh, of, of course he got shot straight in the heart. While, while, while there's distractions going on, I'm trying to get one of these in melee. I'm a little bummed out they also haven't left yet. Gentlemen! Prepare to defend yourself! What's this one doing? Uh, who's, wait, who am I, who am I on? That's May. I can't even... Okay, this, this is the, Mayor's the one that's still up right now? Oh, also in Centurion armor, and wait. No, that's mine. So we haven't even hit this one yet. Richie, just go over there and try to melee attack that one. Try to lock him down. Lord. Here, here. Uh, okay, if I stand right here, maybe this thing will shoot that person. I can't knock them down. All right, now they're leaving. So the only thing I could possibly do to try to take this thing down is to basically bum rush it with everything I've got. And I'll get Jidge out there to see if an EMP... Oh, is it rain? I think it's raining. Good. Wait, Jidge, didn't I tell you to pick up the EMPs? Okay, well, I could have sworn I told Jidge to do that, but it didn't get done. Look, Toby hasn't even reached the battle yet. Don't just stand there twirling your dick! Ow. Oh! Oh! Oh, it 
hurts so much. Hopefully this doesn't, okay. Oh, thank God. That's what I was hoping for. Oh! Fuck me. What are you wearing? You got a lot of cool stuff on you. Strip that one down. Rescue Lord. Oh my god, I've never seen someone have their sternum crushed that hard. Imagine it explodes. Oh, I was pretty sure it would explode, but the, the things about explosions is if you destroy the item before the explosion goes off, it doesn't explode. So I was hoping they would get enough hits in to just knock it out, which is what they did. All right, you need to uh, self-tend with some industrial meds real quick. Everybody who's injured needs to get inside. The rain will put the... F Thank God it started raining, because otherwise my crops would have been fucked. Wait, what? What? Where'd the where'd the inside fire come from? I actually I was so paying so so much paying attention out here. I actually don't know why this burst into flames in here. Thankfully the crops are saved. We took a lot of damage. Uh you. Oh, Bakken's ble- okay. Um, Bakken's bleeding out a lot. Curd. You're okay. I'm so low on meds. Oh. Do we- I thought we bought some herbal medicine, but I think it might be gone at this point. A lot of this is ready to harvest, but I don't have the time for that right now. There is 12 herbal meds. Oh, it's right there. Okay, good. So, Lord, I want you to live. So, you tend to Lord. Austrian's not bleeding out that hard. No, it was hard not as hard as the... Okay, put just cram, cram up the, the heart hole first. That's where all the blood's coming out. Fix that problem. Raid source. Oh, fuck me. A monument for the quest poster has been violated. Oh, you son of a bitch! Why did you do that? Just being a dick. Could've walked around it. Could've walked around it, but no. Now it's hot as fuck in here. Okay, right. Uh, Cause well, we, it's not necessarily the heaters that are doing it, um, but they're not helping. All right, turn those off. I'll throw in a, um, an AC unit somewhere. Now it's hot. It's, Fairly hot in there. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Pro all problem, all time. Uh, Voldrin. Six hours, four hours. Stabilize Bakken. That's only two wounds. All right, there we go. Uh, let's do a overwall cooler there. Voldrin, work on that. Curd, uh, tend to Austrian. Yeah, 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 my bear's blood is falling out. I'm working on it. Let's get this hauled out of the doorway. 
Try to get that temperature down a little bit. Mayor, uh, Richie is also bleeding out. Oxygen deprivation as well is never a good thing. You did get stabbed in the skull with a combat knife. Okay, okay. Curd, where are you? You're feeding people right now. Uh, stabilize Lord a little bit. Okay, tend to Richie. Oh, we are suffering a lot of wounds. Uh, tend to Lord. Tried to save everybody. Mayor. Oh, shit. I didn't realize Mayor was so bad. Tend. Oh, there we go. Okay, you're okay. You're okay. That was close, though. Uh, 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 all problem, all time. All problem, all time. Man, that event fucking sucks. That event is suck. Crafting bench. Craft simple things like clubs and boat. What? I guess we'll try that out. Fuck. Me. Jesus. Christ. Oh, I gotta... Uh, I need the healthy people to kind of haul some corpses out of here at some point, too. Motherfucker. That was an event and a half. Also, we don't have any food available. Uh, are any of my cooks alive? Fitz, you kind of... Nope. No, no cooks are available. Of course, why would there be cooks available right now? I just want to harvest my damn crops. I just want to harvest my damn crops. Oh, God. I got food, a little tiny bit of food at least. Enough to get us through the next day or so. Okay, curd. Um, do I have any drugs? I think I've done all of, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, there we go. That's that, that takes the edge off. There we go. Such a long tunnel. It's where my, it's where we're moving my base to. Oh, we had a little yayo I found in someone's pocket. Minka, but I, I, I have multiple cooks. They're all down right now. Feed, feed, mayor. You need to be fed as well. I have two cooks. They're both down. All right, who's starving now? Bakken. Uh, you can feed yourself. Actually, here, why don't you come down here uh, and get some insect jelly? Okay. 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 All right, 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 all right. I, the, 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 wound, the wounds are, are will heal up. That's That's okay now. This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. Running out of food. We got a little bit of booze if, if someone needs a pick-me-up. Uh, we should probably get rid of the human wreckage. Get rid of the corpses. Haul, haul them off my stoop. Magnus, how you doing? 70, 78% 70, through our opium addiction. A third is mandatory. Well, by, by that standards, it would be you, you. We would have three down, and then you just say a fourth, and then the fourth would go down, and it would fifth. And it, at some point, you have to just do what's efficient. 
I have two cooks, uh, and they'll just have to do the trick. Nobody else really has enough skill. They're too busy doing other things. Because e e even if uh, the next best person, we would say, oh, they're my third cook. That's Kurt. That's my doctor. They're bus too busy taking care of patients. You go down the list and be like, oh, Mayor. Mayor is my, my planter. I need them uh, harvesting the crops. You just, it, it, at some point, you just got to do what's efficient. What's up, Seb? Get all your power from? Right. I'm not you. I, I barely have anything that that uses electricity. We have a couple sto like a couple workbenches and lights, and that's kind of it. So the only the only power we have is the geothermal, but we're not drawing enough juice for it to be a problem because we've got only a few benches, a few lights, and that's it. We don't we don't we don't have a lot of electric. We're not relying on electricity too heavily right now. Oh, I did build this. I did just build this, so that's new. Hide in room, yay. Thank God for the stone skin gland. Whoo, fuck me. All right, where are my plant cutters? Uh, all injured, of course they are. All right, they're healing up though. Time for Jidge to get uh, converted again. Down to 43%. That's the lowest I've had it so far. Toby's on a catatonic mental break. Tribute collector's here. I don't have anything for them. That would have been er uh, useful earlier. You guys all got shot up pretty good. Here, tell them to get up. If they, if they need food or water or anything, they can get it themselves. How the stews, they're gonna be a while. Austrian, can you move? You can. All right, I need you cooking then. Whatever we got. Most heavy, uh, most power heavy stuff takes like 250. Well, there's some, there's a lot of things in the game that require way more power than that. But yeah, right now, the only things that I'm running that draw uh, power is like stove, 350. 210, 350. Psychite binge. Nope, not allowing you to do that. Toby is an ass fuck. Toby is constantly having mental breaks. All right, release Toby again. Oh, fucking Toby. Let's get this shit hauled in. Please and thank you. Oh, we ran out of... Uh, well, here, let's just do this. Zone. Stockpile zone. And clear preferred medicine. There we go. Standby mod, I forget the name of it, but it changes it so most branches won't draw power unless they're in use. Uh, no, I think I'd, I think I'd rather have it do it the way the way it is here because then you would have stuff constantly turning on and off, and like fluctuating your power. I like to know exactly where my power is, and then just meet that. Uh oh. Fuck me. Better than getting frail, but my primary melee guy just got a bad back. Ugh. That's, that's not, that's not what you want to see. Is blood loss going up? Or no, that's dehydration. Go get something to drink. Or just eat a raw piece of meat. Here, do me a favor. Uh, just drink a cocktail. Drink a cocktail. There you go. It'll make you happier. Does that actually help with... De with, with oh, it, do it does. Good. I, I was like, does that help with dehydration? There you go. 
There you go. Oh, fuck me. So much has gone wrong. So many things have gone wrong. We're not... T today has been one of those days where it's like, okay, I guess we won't build uh, the base. I think I guess we'll just constantly be in recovery mode from randying. Because really all we did was carve out a few rooms today. And, and, and like this one, they barely have anything in them. <laughs> That's all we've managed to get done. It's just been constantly getting hit by Randy. Colonist lending, skill trainer. Oh, one, one for eight days. Actually, yes, for, for the animal skill trainer. That is useful. Hey, Toby, you fuck. Where's that damn ship? Toby's being an asshole. I'm going to send him out of the base. All right, animals. All right, Austrian's a 13. Perturbed's a 6 and has a passion, so you're going to get it. Perturbed, perturby, perturby. Oops, there we go. All right, 6 to 11, good. Good, good, good. Uh, Austrian is saying you're bored. Austrian, why are you, what, why? Why you have all of the cooking to do? Don't tell me you have no work to do. You're my chef and we have food that needs to be cooked. Oh. Goes on the show. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just not a big deal right now. We're still working on uh, chewing through all the uh, harvest at the moment. They're not, they're not even, they're not even bothering. We're not going to get another, I don't think we're going to get enough, enough, enough time to grow anything else. Um, oh God, moving 56%. Try and grow grass for what? I mean, we are growing some grass for my, uh, for my anima yaks, but oh, oh, we got our little guy. I didn't even realize that. We got our uh, gray-coated mooflin. Field hand. Field hands would be nice, but that is very far away uh, from where we are right now. Would be nice if uh, Mayor did not get a bad back, because that's one of my harvesty guys. And he's constantly failing because he's got low manipulation now. Fuck me. All right, Bakken, where are you? All right, stop, you, you, stop visiting that guy's grave. You don't know him. That was some asshole who immediately died and was barely ever in the colony. Get to work. Oh, now you're sitting in the tub. Now you're taking a shit. Bakken, you fuck. I swear to God, if you don't get to work, I'm going to start forcing you. Oh, and you're going to start from all the way over here. All right. All right, all right, all right, whatever. As long as he's working. And Kurd, Kurd's working from this end. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. How are we doing on meds now? Not not so hot, but at least there's a little bit. And we we're, we're going to have food for the winter and food for the animals, too. So, it, it, <laughs> thanks to... not, not th Thanks to the psychic cornucopia. Set up to make insect from... Uh, no, not yet. Because we haven't had hay yet. This is the first time we've actually managed to grow any. Wallpaper, siege equipment. Um, I think I'll take siege equipment. <sighs> we actually ran out of room in here too. Uh, okay, that's fine. Just mine it out a little bit. Is it still cold in there? Uh, it's actually not. We uh, love you. We're gonna have sure, to deal baby, with that. I know it. Give me my green color back, you thief. Oh, hey, Narcissus. Uh, 
Uh, that'll need to be smoothed. And this is really, even though it doesn't matter, it's really bugging you guys. We'll deal with that. All right. Uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. I'm going to click on the right things eventually. Fuck. There we go. This stuff hauled out. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. I feel a little bad for Mayor. We, we threw him in a bunch of heavy armor and then he got a bad back. That's really unfortunate. I'm, we're, yeah, we're definitely suffering some, for some major bodily degradation on our colonists right now. We're getting body parts chopped and bashed off constantly. Now, now one of our, uh, our, our primary melee guy has a bad back. All right, all right. Oh, fuck me. Hmm, okay. Get these problems solved. Eventually. Uh, I need to play, well, I mean, the hay will go bad if it's not frozen, so we definitely should actually keep it in here. We just need to make room for it. Okay, set this to negative. And let's start fixing some shit. Let's fix one problem at a time. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to expand it. Weep. These hauled out. It's probably not enough. We probably need more, but I could do it with uh, with these. We can put in more of these. All right, all right. It's frozen in there now. That's good. These guys have grass. Good. Fields are getting doodlied. Good. P P other people are doing the majority of the work. Mayor's just doing his best because he's got a shit back. Okay. Okay. Stream schedule is a little off. I'm not sure about it. Yeah, yeah, Fox. My streaming schedule is is uh, completely different now because I, I moved across the planet. I, mo I moved six time zones up. Copy, paste, paste. All right, 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 all right. Okay, that 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 helps. That helps. Throw the corner of the thingies. Six time zones close to the sun. Exactly, exactly. I am in the future from where I was before. So thus logically. I'm closer to the sun. That just makes sense. Probably will actually. Not, with the amount of corn we just made, I probably will need to do more of these. That's fine though. Uh, soaking wet. Okay, you could be you could be sad about being moist. You could be sad about that. Uh, inspired mining on. Uh, are you a miner? I don't think you are. No, inspired mining on someone who... I kind of wish those inspirations would hit on someone with, like, a passion for it, at least. Look, yesterday and you were playing U4 on Saturday. Yes, I was. It's on my schedule. Well, actually, no. No, no, no. I was playing U4 yesterday by accident because I forgot what day of the week it was. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, no, I start. I didn't realize that I was, uh, I was playing, uh, because I don't. What I've been doing is EU four Thursdays and Fridays, and RimWorld Saturdays and Sundays, and I didn't realize that I was playing EU four on a Saturday until I ended the stream, and I realized that it was the wrong day. But you know, the the main the the, the main issue, the, well, not the issue. The main thing is, is the days I'm streaming: Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The hours will vary based on what's going on day to day. And 
the games will change, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are the days, and the days are important. Uh, is that a bug? I think I got a bugged one. Well, that sucks. Got a, got a bugged trader. It's combat supplier, too. That sucks. Paste. 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 All right, bring all the shit in. Oh, <laughs> you idiot. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to deal with that one. Free day on meat. How bugged? It's a trader I can't trade with. Okay, uh, we're gonna get rid of this one now. And we're definitely gonna shrink this one back down. Tail end of the week instead of the head of the week. Well, I mean, my, my schedule before was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Now it's Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, uh, Sunday. So really the only thing that changed was Monday went to Thursday. Kind of scrooched around. But yeah, no, not on, on Mondays. I, I'm, I'm always busy on Mondays for with work stuff. So there's just never enough time. Well, it's, it's more, do I want to have a really busy day at work and then come home and do a buttload of streaming? Russian jets flying over trading you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ooh, I should get some more lights in here too. I did, that's a fair bit of hay. I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad we did that. And how are we doing on meds now? Oh, en enough. How do you like Fika? Fika is the greatest thing ever. The, the the Swedish work culture is pretty great. I gotta I gotta say it's it's pre, it's pretty great. It's like okay, you come to work at nine, but I mean like the the first the first at least thirty to forty five minutes of the day is chatting, is basically morning fika, um, and and then you and so so then you work from let's say nine forty five. Yeah, uh, uh, 30, 30 caliber rifle. I <laughs> fuck that shit. What do I want a pussy caliber for when I got a seventy four caliber right here? Um. So so you so so you know to like it's it's fika e in the morning. So let's say nine thirty nine forty five is when you kind of start working. And then, like, 11, 11.30 is when you kind of co cock out for lunch. And lunch can last anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes. And then you work for another hour, hour and a half. Then you've got afternoon fika. And then you then you go, oh, it's, just, it's, the, it, 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 it's, it's real, it's, it's real great. It's real great. So, like, like in a given, in a given eight hour day, like, Three of those hours are for socializing. And the thing about it is, is that if you, if you don't participate in Fika, that's, that, that's, it, it's not, oh, they're working through the break time. They are a hard worker. It's, oh, this person doesn't want to join us. They're an asshole. You're you're like obligated to participate. Uh, apparently, we're having a party. Also, did we eat that deodon yet, or is it still fucking? No, I think we I think it must have gotten butchered. We actually have food now for the first time in a while. Okay, okay, okay. We're do we're doing okay. Can, can, uh, carvings, canning wallpaper. I guess we'll go with carvings. And I'm on a daze. Oh, look at that, though. 97% through my opium addiction. I'm just about to get out of jail. BB joins, and a tier 2 threat follows. No. Nudist wimp. That sounds like a bad idea. 
Okay. Yes, we can make kibble. I can, I can process the, um, the insect meat in the hay into kibble. Or we could just make potatoes. We just make, make potatoes. A stiff breeze and that person falls over. Exactly. All right. I think what we're going to do is, uh, is, is release me from my captivity and then probably wrap up the stream because I've been going for a while now. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Calvar. Yay! We're, 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 you're out of jail. You have, you have beaten your addiction. Let's celebrate with a little opium. Yeah, like, um, in, in Sweden, the, the social, it's, it's funny because Nordic countries are like, like, they have that reputation of, like, standoffishness. Standoffishness. Uh, of, like, you give me my space and we don't talk to each other and, you know, you know, just, oh, fucking A! Okay, oh, no, this one, this one I can handle. This is okay. I'm just gonna put the old dude in armor. Uh, in the doorway, and then I'll shoot him with some thingies. I had to survive the drop trip. Basically, I charged it and muscled through it with enough people. Um, fuck me, god damn it. But yeah, what I was saying is, um, rage mostly. Yeah, the, the, like the Swedes, the Scandinavians have that standoffishness, uh, like, 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 mentality. But then, like, at work, it's super, super social. They are extremely social people at work, like way more than Americans are. But like there, there are, there is lots of time in the day that is dedicated to socializing. There are, like there, there are some times where I will have almost an entire day that is not really work, that is just socializing with different people, scheduled. Like, like, like there is a, um, like there'll be like a scheduled breakfast with, with one group of people. And the other thing is, is because I sit on a bunch of different, te like my, I, I basically cross over on a bunch of different teams that I'll have a bunch of different things kind of overlap. Like if you're on a de development team, you'll have like one Fika with the development team, but I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm like kind of on the development team, kind of on the marketing team, kind of on the communications team. So it'll be like, okay, there'll be a company breakfast and then later on in the day, there'll be like community team Fika. Later on in the day, there'll be Hoi team Fika. Later on in the day, there'll be like marketing Fika. And every once in a while, like they'll all line up right and I'll have like just a whole day that is scheduled like Fikas one after another. <laughs> It's it's kind of funny. Like there were there there'd be one time where I would like I'd be like sitting socializing, chatting, having my coffee with one Fika group, and they'll be like, okay, break, and then like as soon as they that group walks out, the next group walks into the area for their Fika and I just stay. It's because it's 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 one of the benefits I, I really want to see if I can get out of out of jail before <laughs> before they attack. Oh, okay. No, we're not going to. But I don't. I, I gotta. I really gotta wrap this up. I gotta go take the. I gotta take. I think I gotta take. I, I, either Penny or Theo. One of them's gotta go out. I've been going for a while now. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, stream schedule Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Right now we're doing EU4 and RimWorld. So I will be back on Thursday to continue our Everything's Coming Up Mole House run of EU4. And then we'll be back for Saturday and Sunday, as long as I remember what day of the week it is, to continue this game of RimWorld. And honestly, I'm a little surprised we uh, survived today. This was a very combat-heavy episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right, my stream deck doesn't work. Hang on. Okay, this is... Okay, hang on. Um, hit this button. And then this button. Goodbye.